and fast. We have the Lord has Going provided fast. the Lord has provided the entire need for the internet, and we still lack several days on the day sponsorships. But will you offer a prayer of thanksgiving for the Lord's provision, and then ask Him to to bring in the rest of it? Well, our Heavenly Father, we're thankful today that you know all about us, and um, you've established these ministries here over the years, and uh, we've seen you provide for these ministries over these many years, and we just don't believe you're going to cease now. We just ask you, Lord, for your will to be done, and uh, you know what we need, and so, Lord, would you provide that which we need to continue to operate WTBI, AM, FM, Internet, and and around the world, Lord, you've given us a worldwide ministry. And so we're just looking to you, and our eyes are upon thee. We know you're well able, and we give you thanks in advance for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Aiken. And two more pledge cards from the outside. Daughters and granddaughters Edwards of Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, taking April the 14th. And this is in memory of their father, DeWitt Edwards, Jr., and their grandfather, DeWitt Edwards, Sr., who were veterans in the United States Army. Amen. And this is Veterans Day. So Hooray. thank you so much. Thank the Lord that he, ke that he kept them. Amen to that. And then we have another one here. Earl Hollifield of Roebuck, South Carolina, taking December the 15th, a paid gift in memory of his beloved mother, Sarah Hollifield. And these two take us over a brand new level, $122,000. Praise God as we get hey, Amen. God is certainly good to yes, us here he this is. morning. Brother Lucas has been a awesome. very exciting morning so far. It has been. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to seeing what God will do this afternoon. Yes, sir. Well, Brother yes, Coach sir. is now heading off to the chapel with Brother James, and we'll be transitioning over there here in just a few moments. Uh, but we do want to remind you that we still have plenty of day partners still left uh, to be. I don't have the exact number right off the hand, uh, but I'm sure they'll give you an update here in just a few moments. But we are currently at $122,000. Trying to get to 146400 uh, So we are about um, $24,000 or so away. Uh, so we hope that uh, you will give us a call. Sponsor a day. Uh, Stand for Christian yes, Radio. Uh, I don't know about you, but and you, you're from Eastern Carolina alongside yes. with me. Yes. And up in Eastern Carolina, it's not like it is down here no, in the upstate not. by no means. And there isn't a Christian radio station. No. In most parts of the country, there's nothing like WTBI. And I know no. we, we, our slogan is the best sound around and we truly are we're not bragging about that we're saying we are the best sound around in the area that we are proclaiming the best sound around amen and that is that amen. jesus saves and we're doing that through not only uh, the fm dial but we're doing it also yes. now through the internet. the internet and now the internet's completely covered and we praise the lord for that uh, well we are going to transition here in just a few moments we'll play a couple of good songs and then we will meet uh, brother james as well as brother coates they're in the chapel and we pray that the uh, the AGs will be a blessing. And then be, don't forget, uh, at 1 o'clock, we'll begin services. Uh, Brother Walter Yancey, he'll be preaching for us uh, here at 1 o'clock. And then at 2 o'clock, Evangelist Brother, uh, 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 I just forgot his name right off the ha hand, Brother um, uh, Brown, uh, I forgot his name. That's no, not him, but I'll give <laughs> John Morgan. There we go. Brother John, Evangelist John Morgan uh, will be here at 2 o'clock. Uh, Brother James, do you need to say something? Yeah, the, uh, the AG family is live here in the chapel, and Brother Coach is headed that way. So at 12 o'clock, we're going to uh, transition to them. as They're, they're, they're going to start off with a song, and then you can go to the, the uh, chapel, and so Brother Coach can uh, pick up right after they get through singing. So maybe they'll say, uh, just play a song or two at at 12 noon, we're going to get up to the top of the hour. They'll play a couple of songs, and we'll just announce when they start doing that. And then Brother Coates will be on right after that. So, yeah. 
All right. All right. Well, we'll begin playing a good song. Give us a call at 864-295-2145. Uh, Brother James, can you hand me those uh, pledge cards? Let's see if we can read these real quickly. Brother Lucas, you right. take that one right there. All right. Well, we have a day partner here from Duke Power taking June the 13th from Greer, South Carolina. Uh, this is in memory of his father, uh, Bobby Joe Powell. Uh, that went home to be with the Lord on that day in 1973. He was a great and godly example of a father. And this is a paid pledge uh, of $400 for June the 13th. And we thank uh, Duke Powell for taking this day. Amen. All righty. I have another day partner. It's anonymous. They're taking September the 18th. Uh, in honor of Russell Sheriff and Sheriff Imports, thank you for your $400 uh, paid pledge. Thank you. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to play some good music. And while the music plays, how about you give us a call? 864-295-2145. Again, 864-295-2145. And we are going to be transitioning to the chapel here in just a moment. But we'll enjoy some good songs by the Singing Echoes now as they start off with the old faded Bible. Amen. This is James Simpson broadcasting to you live out here and outside, and we're fixing to go inside, and hopefully the uh, chapel is ready to go. And this is WT. Brother James? All right, well, we are going to let the AGs go ahead and kick off with a song. Two back to back. 864 295 2145, Brother AG, let her rip.
Savior we have and what a love he has shown us. And while Romans 5, 8 says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'm so thankful for the old rugged cross where God showed his love, how much he loves. Friend, he loves you, he loves me, he loves the world. Let's tell the story and spread the gospel. On a hill far away stood an old I will. 
Four eight six four two nine five two one four five. The sounds of the Agee family, and it's twelve oh six on a Friday afternoon, and we're inviting you to be a part of Sherathon this year. Thankfully, our internet budget has been met for twenty twenty four, and now we're concentrating our efforts on raising the budget for the day sponsorships, the day to day operations of FM ninety four or FM ninety one point five, and I got lots of radio stations <laughs> in my head. It There's uh, sounds like it. FM 91, but we used to be 91.7. Right, many years ago. And then we dropped down to 91.5 at 22,500 watts on a 400 foot tower. We're getting out there. Yes, sir. And maybe you've never given before. We would invite you to do that for the first time. That'd be great to have you along with us. And so uh, we're not going to waste a bunch of time. We've got the AG family only for a day and a half, and we're going to use them as often as we can. And uh, so, um, you know what? You have Brother Age. Is there a way to turn him on and me at the same time? Is that possible? I don't is that humanly possible? I don't well, know. when I get done, I want you to tell us a little bit about that guitar because it's yes, it's unique. And I've been wanting to ask you that for a long time. So uh, folks can see uh, watching online. And so tell us a little bit about your guitar. You told me something special the other day. What kind of guitar is this? Let, give us a little word on the guitar. I'm playing a Gibson J100. I was able to get a hold of it in uh, 2007. And uh, the man that taught me to play the guitar is the man that I, I traded the guitar that he sold me back in 1984 for this one. I had the Gibson Dove until then. It had some structural damage and I was gonna get rid of it or something. But he, he, he taught me into this. I just, bought, I just got this temporarily because I was gonna move on up to a tailor, but I've not been able to part with it since. But it's a Gibson J100. Uh, the man that uh, taught me to play the guitar and the man that traded me this guitar went to, this guitar went to be with the Lord the uh, week before last, and we got to attend his funeral in Crossville, Tennessee. His name was Newton Snow. He loved the Lord, loved music, loved gospel music, and God used him in my life, not only as a musician, but also as a father figure in other ways. Right. Started living, found me a brand new life. It changed my direction, washed away all my strife. I'm a newborn believer. It's a holy and feeling. My loads are getting lighter, my days are getting brighter. I just started. Prophets of doom, cause I'm not one bit discouraged, and I'm feeling no gloom, cause I've got the spirit, and it's totally thrilling, now I gave up all pouting, got no time for doubting, I just started Washed away all my strife, I'm a newborn 
14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Aren't you glad you know him today? Sister Age, you don't leave that. Just hang on to that for just a second. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that is what uh, 91.5 is about. That's what our YouTube streaming is about. That's what our Facebook streaming is about. That's what our sermon audio stream is about. That's what our WTBI.org stream is about. It's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if there's ever been a day where we need an an investment in the gospel of Jesus Christ, it's now. And uh, Brother AJ, I don't know how much more of that you want to do, but I would like to do a little bit more of that and encourage folks to give 
for the sake of the gospel. Amen. And, um, and I, I've not always understood, and I, I've been looking for insight on this for 40 years, my whole life really, since I was a small child, 35 years, why God didn't just put the gospel in the sky for everybody to read and why God didn't put it on every leaf that falls from a tree and write, inscribe it in every cloud in the sky, but he didn't do that. He chose the foolishness of preaching and he chose the, the words of other Christians to lead the lost to Christ. And, and there's great preachers out there doing a fantastic job, but my, what an immense opportunity we have with the radio station and the internet. And so on behalf of the gospel, who's gonna sponsor a day at $400 a day, to help us, we need 61 days, Brother Keeter, is all we need, 61 days. Two months, we'll wrap up the whole year of 2024, and you be the next one at 295-2145.
For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And w w this radio station has perpetually preached that truth for decade after decade after decade. And I am a passionate believer in broadcasting the sound of the gospel. Amen, preacher. There, there's, there's video, there is, there's sign language, there's all kinds of great things out there. But the, the broadcasting of God's word is just like sowing the seed, just like taking a handful of seed and casting it out upon the ground for it to find a good soft place to land so that Jesus Christ can take his blood and the Holy Ghost can take his power and God Almighty can apply his forgiveness and his love and rescue a condemned soul from the lake of fire, not only to be absent from hell, but to be present in the glory world with God. That's the gospel. And how dare we fall short of supplying that to every human alive in any way we can find to do so. Get a billboard, put a verse on it, bumper sticker, hat, t-shirt, say something to somebody, tell them about Jesus, we're fixing to get out of here. And I believe that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, is ready to save anyone. The Bible says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. And you need to get in on this. There are folks, and I'm burdened about this, there are lots of folks that are now that are now in heaven. Yes, sir. That we have lowered their caskets into the ground, and they were part of pushing this ministry. Yes, sir. Somebody's got to fill in that hole. Somebody's got to fill in that gap and 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 shore up that hedge. And so your gift is so important. We need you to give. And the number is 295-2145. I'm going to start preaching if I'm not careful. <laughs> the AG family is going to sing. Give to the gospel, 295-2145. There's a call comes swinging o'er the restless way. Send the light, send the light. And there are souls to rescue, there are souls to save. Send the light, send the light, send the light. The blessed gospel, I let it shine. From shore to shore, send the light, the blessed gospel, I let it shine forevermore. We've heard the Macedonian call today, send the light, send the light, and a golden offering at the cross we lay, send the light, send the light, send the light, the blessed gospel, I let Shine from shore to shore, send the light, the blessed gospel, I let it shine Oh, 
an obligation we have a great commission the great commission the great commission is a commandment it's not an option and this song is called reach the world how could one go about such a great task as reaching the world there's eight billion people they say now if they're right how could one possibly go about such a task well it's the same as it's always been back when there were fewer people it's one soul at a time we were at a meeting uh, week before last now and the pastor over the meeting the moderator said something and I caught it <laughs> and I'm going to spread it I'm going to share it I love it brother Jeff Brown up at Emmanuel Baptist Church in Lansing Tennessee he says every soul costs the same I never thought of it that way before the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary the darling son of God giving his life laying on his life every soul costs the same don't matter if they're an African or American if they're rich or poor if they're on drugs or church kids every one of us costs the same we're to reach the world one soul at a time and when you reach one that one can reach another and it multiplies
And that process has been, has, has been a process that has been going on now for 2,000 years. As Jesus Christ said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He told us to reach, he told us, told us to reach the entire world. Right. That's what our commandment is to do, to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there is no, there is no, um, uh, there, there's no compromise on that. There's no, well, well, we'll try to figure this out. No, he told us to, to do it. Right. What you said, Brother A.G., a minute ago, Dr. Sammy Allen has said for decades, it's not the Great Commission, it's the Great Commandment. He said that for years. And it is the Great Commandment. And you have a, and the, the FM, and I try to, Dr. Barton, has, his phrases are in my head all the time. He, said, he says something like this, that even though we have the Internet and that budget is taken care of, Without the engine of the FM to drive that internet, there is no internet. FM 91.5 is the heart and soul of WTBI radio and this broadcast network. And so we need you to help us sponsor these days and we've got several that have come in. And so we're gonna read through these and, uh, and we're gonna continue to take your pledges through tomorrow night, but we would love to have what did I say a minute ago, Brother Keeter? 61 days? 61. We'd love to have all 61 of those days taken care of uh, by the service time tonight. Get those knocked out of the way because we have got a state-of-the-art production facility to build here. And so we would love to have your investment at 295-2145. I have an anonymous gift here. This is a one-time gift of $100 in honor of East Tato Baptist Church in Sunset, South Carolina. And we appreciate this anonymous $100 gift. Amen. We also have one day par uh, a day partner, uh, my apologies, uh, from Vivian Anthony of Pendleton, South Carolina, uh, taken February the 5th in memory of uh, Jenny Anthony, whose birthday was on February the 4th. Uh, he also loved WTBI very much, and we certainly are thankful for this uh, gift of, uh, for, the one, uh, for the day sponsor for February the 5th. Marsha Knoll of Greenville, South Carolina, takes May the 21st. This is a $400 pledge in honor of her parents, Scott and Scotty Dean, for all they do for, uh, for uh, her and Isabella. Amen, Amen to that. Thank you so much to Marsha taking Marcia. May the 21st for the general budget. This one takes us over a new level. Lonnie oh. Nevis of Pelzer, South Carolina. Did I say that right? Lonnie Nevis know, yeah. of Pelzer, South Carolina, taking December the 29th. $400 pledge in honor of his father and mother, Walt and Vita Nevis. Amen. And we appreciate this gift taking us over a brand new level, $124,000. Praise God, we do not have our theme song. No theme song. <laughs> <laughs> we can sing one. Brother A.G., I need a theme song. Um, what has it been it today? It's been uh, God is Still Good. They don't do God is Still Good. You do God is Still Good, you don't do that. Can you do something about God is Good? Can you help me out with that? Throw something together, and, uh, and I'll give you just a minute, all right? So Lonnie Nevis, and then we have one here, and I want to get this one too. This is anonymous day sponsorship, $400, December the 14th, to the glory of God. Amen. And uh, we appreciate these. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. four. So help me, Brother Keeter. That's 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, right? We need 57 days, and our current total right now is $124,000 as the, as the AG family sings go. the chorus. Praise God. God is still good when the waves roll high. God is still good all through the night when I've done all I can and I don't understand. God is still good. Now that's what you call extemporaneous <laughs> musical expression is what that is. And I, like I appreciate version. them. They're going to go ahead and get their next song ready. we got a couple more pledge cards here. And uh, we appreciate here. Wait a minute. I'm going to let you read that one right there. You read that one. I'll read this one. Okay. David Alexander of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Thank you so much for this $50 one-time gift in honor of all the veterans. Thank you Amen. so much. 
And we have a one-time partner from Jaden Coates here in Marshall, North Carolina. Uh, sounds somebody familiar around yes. here. Yes. Uh, sponsoring in honor of every willing servant behind the scenes. I greatly appreciate you. How about that? And in honor of all uh, God does uh, through share And this is a $30 pledge uh, from Jaden Coates, and we thank you uh, for helping us out there uh, greatly. Amen to that. All right, the AG family going to take off on another song, 295-2145. know your day. Now of a hope that will surely endure after the passing of time. I have a future in heaven for sure. There lost mansions sublime. And it's because of that wonderful day when at the cross I believe. Rich is eternal and blessings of day for me that was in the fall of 1987 I got under conviction at Brown's Chapel Baptist Church a little stone church at the head of Blackberry Inn which is at the head of Rims Creek Road which is at the foot of Maney Branch on the uh, this is going to be on the north side of Barnardsville in Weaverville North Carolina I got under conviction a little short preacher by the name of Harold Ray preached that night I don't know what he preached got in uh, the car with my parents drove home to uh, across from WKJV radio we lived right across the street on uh, Adams Hill Road, second trailer on the left, a blue and white striped single wide trailer, walked in the dark brown colored door on a little couch on the left side of the living room, knelt down on an octagonal shaped um, um, linoleum floor, put my knees on the floor, put my hands and my face in my hands like this with my elbows sunk deep into that old tan colored couch. And I did not know what to say. I didn't know what to pray. All I knew is that Jesus Christ was doing this. Yeah. 
He was knocking on my door. And if and if I opened up to him, he'd come in. Amen. Amen. So I opened the door. <laughs> Open the door and let him in, hallelujah. <laughs> and oh, what a wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I wandered in darkness away, Jesus, the Savior I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy, I'm telling. He made all that darkness depart. And ever since that day, I've never been lost. A friend of mine, Brother Philip Parker, up in uh, Marshall, North Carolina, he made this statement one time. He said, uh, he said, ever since I got saved, he said, I've never been lost. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Never been lost again. Can't get lost Can't. again. Amen. It's impossible. No man shall pluck Amen. me out of the Father's hand. No man. And I know some that are striving to make it. They're trying their best to get all their uh, T's crossed and their I's dotted so they can get in the gate. But I don't need that. I've got the blood of Jesus Christ applied to my life. And uh, thank God for that. And, and you can, t and, and sometimes we don't say enough to the lost during Sherathon. You may be listening right now, and Jesus Christ is, 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 is a stranger to you. You've never been born again. And you, you say, well, I'm a, I believe. You can say you believe a thousand times. Did you know that Jesus Christ told Nicodemus the phrase born again three times before he ever said believeth in verse 16? The devil believes and he trembles, He's scared to death has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with accepting Jesus Christ. And whether it's through a, a prayer in a church service or sitting on your granny's lap in a rocking chair or listening to the radio, going down in a pickup truck and getting under conviction, whatever it is, Jesus Christ is, is ready to save your soul if you'll accept him today. Well, listen to some good music by the AG family. We need 57 days is all we lack, Brother Keeter, 57 days. Yes, sir. And uh, we will take care of the budget for the 2024 broadcast year. And so you get in on it. We need your $400 offering. 57 of them is what we need. And then 15 more minutes until we go into uh, preaching. Oh, we'll begin here at 1 o'clock. Brother Walter Yancey will be preaching. And then here at 2 o'clock, we'll be here in Evangelist John Morgan. Uh, so we'd love to have a good crowd come out here and hear some good preaching in person. Uh, that will begin at 1 o'clock. But again, uh, 57 days for the codes that we need to get. Uh, so give us a call at 864-295-2145 as we hear another good two songs now from the AGs.
singing by the AG family and the number is 864-295-2145. If you want to give a pledge, we would love to hear from you again. That's 864-295-2145. A few prayer requests, and I can't remember in all of these years there being this many prayer requests called in for the week, um, but uh, we are honored to pray with you and to make these announcements for other folks to pray as well. Please pray for a man named Richard who fell and broke a hip and will have surgery today. He also is very sick. Also pray for a 30 year old young lady who was diagnosed with frontal brain tumor found when imaging for another problem. So please pray for this tumor. Pray for family members dealing with sickness and Aaron Wesley Rowland and Jean Pittman. And uh, please pray for this as well. So I'm gonna take a moment and pray. Father, thank you so much for uh, this broadcast day and, and your provision for the internet. 
Now, Lord, we ask you for these last 57 days that you'd help us to uh, get these taken care of today. And for all of these objects that have been called in that we've read on the radio, Lord, we don't pray to inform you because we know that you know, but we pray to involve you and we need your involvement in this, in this moment for these objects that have by faith asked for your help. Do so in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Well, we appreciate uh, the good folks from the Bethany Christian Academy. They have sent in a $400 pledge. Amen. And this is uh, Bethany Christian Academy in honor of our pastor, Jeremy Chisholm and his family. Amen to that. Amen. We appreciate Brother, Brother uh, Chisholm. And of course, they're taking March the 4th of 2024. Thank you so much to Bethany Christian Academy. More music by the AG family. Service will begin here in uh, six or seven minutes and looking forward to seeing what God's going to do this afternoon. The Age of Family at 295-2145. <laughs> suffered it all because he loved me because he loved me my savior died on the cross was crucified no greater love my mortal man has ever been known oh praise his dear name he loves me so now I am his he's mine I know he suffered it They're going to do one more, but we're going to give that number out real quick. 864-295-2145. That's 864-295-2145. We need 56 days to take care of the 2024 broadcast year is all we like, 56 days. And uh, so we know that uh, the Lord's able to provide that. And that's uh, about seven weeks of broadcasting that we don't have taken care of yet. And uh, that's at $400 a day. And you can sponsor those days at, at $33 a month. You can take on the radio station uh, in your budget at $33 a month and be a part of what the Lord is doing around here, getting the gospel to the entire planet from Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, we'd encourage you to do that. Again, the number is 864-295-2145. And uh, we've got some business to take care of here. Where is you, you'll, I'll, uh, you do the legal ID and this legal stuff here. 
and uh, we'll get ready for the service. All right, of course, you're listening to WTBI Radio here on 91.5 FM and online there at WTBI.org. We're fixing to go into the 1 o'clock hour, but before we go into our chapel service and uh, hear some good preaching here from Brother Walter Yancey, uh, we do want to say a big thank you to our share Day partners for today who are Clarence Mosley of Simpsonville, South Carolina. He sponsors in honor of the U.S. Marine Corps' birthday, uh, November the 10th, 1775. Mr. Mosley quit school and joined the Marines in 1954 at the age of 17. He served for five and a half years, and his time in the Marines helped shape his early life, and he is grateful. Our WTBI internet partner for today is Sherry Harris of Liberty, South Carolina, and she is wishing all the servicemen and women a happy Veterans Day and says thank you uh, for your service. And all of our share Day partners help cover the listeners portion of the operating expenses for WTBI. TBI Radio, and we thank you all for your help with share 2023. Uh, and of course, we're in share 2024. Uh, we have finished the Internet Day. Uh, $73,200 there has been pledged, and now we're working on our day pledges. Uh, right now, we are at $122,000. Uh, we're trying to get to that $146,400 mark. We are 56 days that need to be uh, pledged. I believe we have a couple of months. I know the month of October, I believe the month of August, I believe is close to being finished, and some others. So if there's a day, maybe an anniversary, maybe a birthday, maybe you want to honor somebody very special in your life, or maybe want to just give the Lord praise on a certain day, uh, why don't you give us a call at the number of 864-295-2145. Again, that number 864-295-2145. Uh, We've been enjoying uh, the uh, AG family here this afternoon, Brother Coates, and here in just a moment we'll hear the uh, Rogers, but we'll give them time just to get uh, set up here uh, for just a moment. Uh, but we are waiting now to get some things ready as we get ready into the chapel service. And I don't know about you, but we have been having some wonderful services this afternoon over these last it's definitely been days. a great week. That is for sure. And uh, we are, we're thankful that the Lord has been good to us so far. Again, the internet uh, budget has been taken care of for 2024, but we still lack about $24,000 on the day sponsorships and uh, need 56 days taken care of. Uh, for that upcoming year and uh, we know that god is able to take care of that 56 days at 400 dollars a day and so we're asking for god uh, to bring that in and we know that he's able to do that the phone number is 864-295-2145 that's 864-295-2145 and uh, looking forward to hearing from you and uh, we're we're uh, we're um, almost ready to go into the afternoon service let me give you a little bit of information here so what is what's going on here at the radio station? Well, once a year we take a week. That's all. Well, actually, it's not even a full week. Monday through Saturday, and uh, we raise the funds for the budget for the upcoming year. And last year we were able to raise the funds for the 2023 broadcast year, and now we're raising the funds for the 2024 broadcast year. And all of the internet days have been sponsored, and now we're raising money for the FM at $400 a day. And uh, we just lack 56 days to get that budget taken care of is all we need. And we know that God is able to provide, and we're asking for him to do that with your help, uh, 56 days to take care of that upcoming year. Then, in addition to that, we are building a state-of-the-art production facility that will enable us to... Um, to do recordings and to take old recordings and to uh, put them into digital format so they can be kept and preserved for the years to come. And so a great opportunity for you to invest in uh, into the work of the Lord in this production facility. And uh, we'll be saying more about that throughout the afternoon and tomorrow as uh, we're anticipating God's provision and God's supply. And so that number is 864-295-2145. And uh, beginning with the afternoon service here at Tabernacle Baptist Church, you can find us in the chapel at 3931 White Horse Road in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina. And kicking off this afternoon service with the Rogers family, Sister Kim Shields and her family. She's at the piano and they're singing for us today. That number is 295-2145 as they sing two songs back to back. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. So glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. 
lifted me, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me, well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. Now I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. When I was sinking down, Jesus lifted me. When I was sinking down, Jesus lifted me. lifted me now I'm singing glory hallelujah Jesus lifted me well I'm so glad Jesus lifted me I'm so glad Jesus lifted me I'm so glad Jesus lifted me singing glory hallelujah Jesus hallelujah glory hallelujah Tears beset us all the time, the time. We, long, we long for heaven's sweet refreshing Just to take them off our minds our mind. Tra Traveling through the desert barren And across the rivers crevice Still longing for the day to come When I can settle down and rest Beside the peaceful river Flowing right before the throne In the presence of my Savior And they know it won't be very long Sweet fellowship will last forever Lovely singing all the time When I can settle down over there Eternal rest will then be mine Just to lay my cares all down, all down. No, matter no matter where I go in this world Seems no comfort can be found But we seek a better country Where we'll live with all the true and blessed Yonder on the hills of glory I can settle down and rest Beside the peaceful river, flowing right before the throne, the throne. In, yes, in the presence of my Savior, and it won't be very long. Sweet fellowship will last forever, lovely singing all the time. When I, when I can settle down over there, eternal rest will then be mine. be back with you. We have finished, finally finished up our Brunswick stew 
and we want everybody to, uh, y'all hold on just one second for you, Will. Uh, we want everybody, if you have called ahead and you asked for us to hold some stew, we have your name on it, and it is in a, a zip bag, and it is upstairs in the radio station. So if you'll call ahead and let them know, they will make arrangements to get it down to you, and uh, you can give them the money for it. We have, I think they said we have 20, I believe 25 or 26 quarts of stew that are left that have not been sold. And they're at the radio station, and you can get as many of those as you'd like. Just call ahead, if you will, and tell someone, tell Miss Hawthorne, I'm coming after two or three quarts, and uh, they'll try to get one of the uh, young folks to bring it down to you so you don't have to get out and go upstairs. But we're no longer out in the between the buildings. Uh, we moved in. We all wanted to come and, and hear the service. And so we're all inside. So you're going to have to call and speak to Mrs. Hawthorne at the radio station. And uh, that will take care of that. Well, we're so glad this afternoon to have the Rogers family singing for us. And uh, I have asked them to hold off singing my song. But I want you all to sing it now for me, if you will. And uh, this is a blessing. This blessed my heart last year. I mean, it just got down in my running gears. And uh, I believe it'll be a real blessing to your heart. I just can't help but that shouting feeling. Amen. Y'all sing for us. I get that shouting feeling burning in my soul. Many times I've gone to church with troubles burning down. There was no victory in my heart, no answers to be found. But then I'd get my mind and thoughts upon the Lord. And then he'd start to feed me from his precious word. And I get that came. Help but shout and feel it When my heart with joy he's feeling Feels so good I can't sit still When my heart with love he feels I want to tell my friends about it I want to stand right up and shout it I get that shout and feeling Burning in my soul Now if you're in the valley Of gloom and dark despair there's only one way to get out that's on your knees in prayer he'll come and lift your burden and in you he'll abide he'll put that shout and feeling way down deep inside i get that can help but shout and feeling with my heart with joy he's feeling feels so good i can't sit still when my heart with love he feels i want to tell my friends about it i want to stand right up and shout it i get that shout and feeling burning in my soul i get that can't help but shout and feeling when my heart with joy he's feeling feels so good i can't sit still when my heart with love he feels i want to tell my friends about it i want to stand right up and shout it i get that shout feeling burning in my soul i want to tell my friends about it i want to stand right up and shout it well i get that shout feeling burning soul burning in my soul now if you're in the valley of gloom and dark despair there's only one way to get out that's on your knees in prayer he'll come and lift your burden Shout and feel it way down deep inside. I get that can't help but shout and feel it when my heart with joy he's feeling feels so good. I can't sit still when my heart with love he feels. I want to tell my friends about it, I want to stand right up and shout it. I get that shout and feel it burning in my soul. I get that. 
shout and feel it When my heart with joy he's feeling Feels so good I can't sit still When my heart with love he feels I want to tell my friends about it I want to stand right up and shout it I get that shout and feeling Burning in my soul I want to tell my friends about it I want to stand right up and shout it Thank you all so very much. They'll be coming back to sing for us. And uh, we appreciate uh, them being here with us today. And uh, let's see, they'll be uh, singing for the service. Then the A.G. family, we haven't seen them, I don't think, since Grenada. And uh, looking forward to hearing the A.G.s come and sing for us. And then the Rogers family and the A.G.s. And then tonight, Brother Rudy Smith will be here preaching. His choir will be here singing the A.G. family, the Talbert family, and Brother Jim Crutchfield. And boy, I tell you what, last night, uh, Brother Chad Bailey just absolutely knocked it out of the park. And uh, I was so glad I was not able to be here for the service, but I was able to uh, watch it from the house. And it was, a, it was a great blessing to my heart. Appreciated the good singing last night and the good preaching. Well, we've got a treat now for you this afternoon. And uh, I've got a good friend of mine here from Danville, Virginia, pastor of the Timberlake Baptist Church. And this is Dr. Walter Yancey. And uh, I certainly appreciate Brother Yancey and Miss Wendy driving down from uh, uh, Virginia, Danville, Virginia. And uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Yancey hadn't been feeling well. And so I, I hate that, but I'm glad uh, Brother Walter's here. We've been friends for... Uh, I think almost 40 years and uh, we both pastored together in Virginia and uh, there for a while on Saturday night we had a uh, radio uh, uh, broadcast over Appomattox Radio and uh, we would uh, count down Thank the top 40 uh, Southern Gospel songs back when uh, Southern Gospel music was, ab was able to listen to it <laughs> and uh, the quartets that were crisscrossing across the country this was back in the 80s and uh, everything was, uh, uh, it was it was just red hot and we always had a good time on Saturday night uh, for that, uh, that gospel uh, program that we had Brother Yancey I appreciate so much your friendship I thank the Lord for your faithfulness to the Lord He's been in Danville now for many, many years. He got there. They paid their building off, and then they knew that they were going to have to expand, but they're landlocked. They're in a, in a community, about like our church up at Whitehorse Heights. There's nowhere to grow. So they went just a little bit out of town, bought over, what, 50 acres of land? 58 acres. 58 acres of land. They worked, and they've got that paid. And so now they, they've got uh, uh, raising money to put up a brand new uh, building out on that property, and they'll be moving, and I think they're going to uh, get started on that the first of the year. They've got over a million dollars in the bank, and so he's loaded. So you make sure you talk to him today wow. before he leaves. But anyway, they have been diligent to put that money aside, and uh, I believe the new bill is going to cost, what, $4 million? $4 million. Yes. And so uh, they're still raising money, and and uh, but I appreciate his faithfulness to the Lord. He's never never wavered. He's never compromised. He stood by the stuff. And, uh, Brother Yancey, you come preach to our heart this afternoon. Thank you, Brother Scott. Take your Bibles and turn to James chapter number 5. And uh, I got a question I want to ask you. Are you ready? 33 years ago, at this very hour, I was at Temple Baptist Church in Madison Heights, Virginia. Me and Scott were in a little side room. And uh, we were standing there, and he looked at me between the eyes, and he said, are you ready? And he opened the door. And we walked up on the stage. And we stood there and looked at the crowd. And then that music, here comes the bride started playing and uh, I thought he just asked me was I ready I'm not sure I am I wasn't sure I was and uh, as of today Wendy and I have been married 30 
three years. Amen. Yeah. I guess Scott tied our love in a double knot, I guess, because we're still together. 33 years. Are you ready for the Lord to come back? Never forget one year I was, they started that MMA stuff on television. They had this guy on there named Cowboy Cerrone. And I kind of liked to see him fight. Michael Buffer got on there and got that microphone up and started hollering, are you ready? 10,000 people started squealing, squalling, and hollering they were ready. Then the referee come in the ring and he looked at the two combatants. He said, are you ready? He said, are you ready? Both of them said yes, but one of them wasn't ready because as soon as they rung that bell, that one guy jumped up in the air with his knee, hit him upside the head, knocked him out graveyard dead, <laughs> laying on the canvas, knocked out. He wasn't ready. I want to tell you something, folks. Jesus is coming quickly. Amen. We better be getting ready for the Lord's return. James 5, 7, be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he received the early and the latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another. Brethren, lest ye be condemned, behold the judge standeth at the door. Just a little word of encouragement this afternoon. You look at what's going on in Israel. You look at what's going on in the world. Jesus is about to return. Amen. Are you expecting him to come? The Lord's warned us so many times in the scripture of his imminent and unpredictable return. God pleads for you and I to be ready. He says, my return draweth nigh. Even more disturbing and even more frightening is that the judge standeth at the door. We're going to have to meet the Lord in the air, go to the judgment seat of Christ, and answer for our service. Are you ready? Oh, listen, I remember old preacher years ago said, I, I don't want to rust out, I want to burn out. And he did. He, he served God till the day he died. We got to serve God, hopefully, till the day we're raptured. Amen. And it's coming quickly. And here in James chapter 5, the Lord has some thoughts we need to just think about and about his imminent coming. And in verse 7, he said, be patient, therefore, brethren. I want the Lord to come back right now. Amen. This very instant. If he'd come back now, I'd be happy. Yeah. Amen. I'm impatient for the Lord's return. But I'm here to tell you today, the Lord's not in a hurry. Yeah. He's coming soon, but he's not in a hurry. Yeah. Why? Because we've got a work to do until he returns. Amen. We better understand there's no timetable on God. He's got a plan. Nobody's pressing him. Right. His plan is going to work out perfectly to the letter, to the T. Many of our wishes and our wants and ways will not even enter into his plan. And we've got to deal with the inconvenience and the disappointments of life along the way. And there's many. There are many hiccups and ditches and potholes in life that you have to face and you have to go through, but they're all there for a purpose. Be patient. Wait on the Lord. It's all going to be for the better good. It's all going to be for his glory. So by faith, trust God to the end, and as the old song says, it'll be worth it after all. It'll be worth it after all. He's coming. Now, when you think about time, Matthew 24, 27 says this. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And verse 36 says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Anybody who tries to tell you the Lord's coming, they're lying to you and tries to give you a date and a time. That's not true. That's right. Nobody knows when the Lord's going to come back. Yeah. Time doesn't matter to God. The plan matters to God. And the wonderful thing about the plan is every one of us fit into that plan. I remember sitting in those pews just like y'all are right now when I was your age. I was in a Christian school. 
I had to go to chapel. I had to go hear preachers preach. And they told me that my life was in God's plan. And I kind of thought, well, that's just preacher talk. Well, I'm 59 years old. And I'm here to tell you this afternoon, it's not preacher talk. God has a plan for your life and a purpose for your life. And we've got to just be patient and, and work his schedule and his time. Then the Bible says he, he's coming a time when you think not. Luke chapter 12, verse 40. But be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh an hour when you think not. The world's not expecting the Lord to come. The world doesn't even think about God. Thank God the church does. And God's people are. And we're excited about him coming. We're working for him to come. We're excited about it, but the world doesn't think about him coming. Yeah. The Bible says he's going to come as a thief in the night. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Now, the truth here is not found in the words thief and night themselves. God's not going to steal anything. He's only going to take what's his, what's washed in the blood. Those who repent and come to Christ as Lord and Savior. Night is not pertinent because when the Lord returns, there's going to be daylight somewhere. Yeah. So that's not what the Lord means. The thought being presented here is the unexpectedness of his coming. The unexpectedness. It's going to come so quickly. I can remember again being your age, sitting in the pews of Christian school. My life has gone by like a flash. I mean, I, I don't know where the last 40 years has gone. It's just gone by like a flash. Yeah. And it's going to happen to you too. It's going to happen to all of us. It's going to go by like a flash. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your talent. Don't waste your treasure on yourself. Man alive, put it all in God's hands. Trust him. Follow him. Why? Because when he comes, it's going to be so quick, you're not even going to imagine it. It's going to be so fast. The Bible says in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. That's not a blink. I hear preachers say, I'll blink your eye. No, it's faster than a blink. It's the amount of time it takes light to reflect off your eyeball. That's, that's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. You see, the world will treat him as a thief. But for those of us who go with him, he'll be our relief, not our thief. Amen? Amen. He'll be our relief. And we must be patient for his relief from this old wicked, weary world that we live and serve him in. So we need to stop being impatient of his coming and just serve God till he comes. Number two, we need to increase until his coming. James 5, 7b says, Behold the husband, and that's a farmer, waited for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he receiveth the early and the latter rains. Now, the Lord is a farmer who sowed the seed of the Son of his Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ and his blood into the world for man to be saved from sin, death, hell, and the grave. Souls won to Christ are his precious seed. The most precious fruit of the earth to him is the soul of a repentant sinner who comes to Christ and realizes he's in need of a Savior and forgiveness. And he's hopeless without Christ. God's not worried about how long it takes. He, he's concerned about how many he can re reach with the gospel. Amen. That's the job of WTBI, this church, our church, to get the message of the gospel out so that many can be saved. We're in a hurry for the Lord to return, but God's not in a hurry. He's not. He wants every soul he can possibly gather into the kingdom. I remember every spring, my grandfather would plant as soon as the weather would allow. He'd get that old 1960 tractor out of the shed. He'd put the blades and turn that soil over. And he'd go to plant in the garden about the size of this chapel here. And he'd go to planting everything under the sun. And he'd get it ready. And uh, when it started growing and blossoming and then become fruit. Wasn't too long after that that we were out there picking that stuff. And then we noticed he got to tractor earth again. I said, Ruby, where is he going with that tractor? He said, over in that field over yonder. I said, for what? He's going to plant another garden. I said, you've got to be kidding. 
we can't even take care of this one. And he's over at Plyne. She said, that's the late garden. So here we are picking the early garden, and he started to sow. He, all he's thinking about is reaping all the time, reaping. And so he had a motto, and this was his motto. We picked, froze, and canned everything he had to, till Thanksgiving. And his motto was very simple and very plain. If you pick it, eat it or freeze it. Eat it or freeze it, one or the other. That's what you're going to do. And that's what we did. We picked it, then we ate what we want, and we froze the rest. Why? Because winter was coming, and nothing grows in the wintertime. He loved gardening. He had five kids, and he kept all five families filled with food in the freezer. And he loved to be a farmer. That's what he did all his life. The Lord loves those saved early, and he loves those who are going to be saved late. He loves the early and the latter rain. Amen. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Some men count slackness. But long-suffering to usward, that not, he's not willing that any should perish, Amen. but all come to repentance. Yeah. That's his goal. I'm going to give you three thoughts, and I'm going to turn you loose. First of all, A, we'd be trustees until his coming. Where to be his trustees? Luke 19, 13. And he called his, his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds and said to them, Occupy till I come. Amen. That means work till the trumpet sounds. God's given us all a ministry we're responsible to work in and grow. The preacher was so right last night. Christians need to find what God wants them to do and do it with all their might. The book of Ecclesiastes said, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. Amen. And he's given us all special gifts. And we're to invest in those gifts in his work that will bear fruit into eternal life in other people. Not our own goals, not our own agenda, but find what he wants you to do. Yeah. Be his trustee. The Greek word for occupy is pragmat yoomi. Don't make me say that again. Which means to busy oneself with, to trade or to occupy. Every hour of every day of our lives ought to be filled with pleasing God, prospering for God, planning for God. And that's the job we have as trustees. There's no retirement from serving God. You may retire from your occupation, but you'll never retire from serving the Lord. Amen. Don't even think Amen. about it. Look at this brother up here. Got his walker and his signs. He's ready to go to work. Amen. He's got me under conviction. I think I'm going to have to go buy me some signs. Amen. And as big as I am, they're going to be big signs, buddy. I'll tell you, somebody will see them, I promise you. Trustees till he comes. Then be trophies at his coming. Galatians 6, 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh so of, of the flesh reap corruption. Me and Scott Dean in our early days of the ministry, he and I, we had problems. We were good brothers in Christ. Scott would get upset, say, my nerves is tough. I say, let's go eat. What'd your grandma say? Eat something and you'll feel better. So we'd meet in Lynchburg and we'd eat. Amen. I'd get upset. Scott, my nerves is tough. up. He said, well, let's go eat. I said, that sounds like a good idea to me. You see where it's done got us? <laughs> hey, you feed the flesh and it corrupts, I'll tell you, I guarantee you, it corrupts on you. Folks, but whatever you do for God never goes to waste. You're out there listening, you haven't given your pledge yet, what are you waiting for? Get her done. This is, as these gentlemen have said all morning, this is a work that's not only temporal, that goes around the world, literally, but every work that's done through this radio station is spiritual and eternal. It goes on forever. And folks, you can't outgive God time, talent, or treasure. Oh, listen, there are going to be trophies at his coming. When you invest in his ministry, one day he will bless us. These things of earth will rot. Me and Wendy have been married 33 years. We bought a new house 20 years ago. I don't know where it went. Every time I turn around, gutters falling off, floors falling through, windows broke, 
Air conditioning unit got to be replaced. Refrigerator's got to be replaced. I mean, we bought that house. We thought we'll never have to do nothing again. We're, we're on easy street. I put carpet in that thing three times already. <laughs> Things wear out. Things wear out. I counted the other day. I'm 59 years old, and I've had 14 cars. 14. And I wore all 14 of them out. They didn't last. When I bought them, they were the greatest thing on earth. When I got rid of them, I said, thank God, and Greyhound, that thing's gone. I don't want to see that thing anymore. It's, it's done, fell apart. I done wore it out. Whatever you do for God will never grow old. That's right. You won't be putting in hole, pockets with holes in it. Only one life will soon be passed, and only what's done for Christ is going to last. Whom having not seen ye loved, and whom now ye see him not yet believing, rejoice and speakable, speakable with full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, listen to this, even the salvation of your souls. Now, if that was talking about your soul, it'd be singular. It's plural. It says the salvation of your souls. God expects you to win souls. I don't care if you're 10, 20, 50, or 90, right, Irene? Makes no difference how old you are. God expects you to win souls. And to bring forth fruit, we only have one soul. So logic, the logical deduction tells us this passage, passage of Scripture is God wants us to win souls to Christ. We're trustees until His coming. There'll be trophies at His coming. But finally, the truth of His coming. Psalm 126, verse 5 says this. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Amen. When he comes, it's true. We who have trusted him as our personal Lord and Savior, we're going with him. Yet it's also true, our sheaves, the full matured fruit of our labor will be harvested that day and they're going with us too. They're going with us too. When working with my granddaddy years ago, again, I'll never forget as long as I live, it was late September and he called all the family together. I done told you, he had five children and each one of them five children had about five children and he called and said, we're going to get potatoes up. So we all got in the car, wherever, wherever we were from. We drove that little place in Dry Fork, and he pulled that little old tractor out, little old patch of taters about the size of this middle area right through here. I said, Daddy, I hope this is over quick. I'm, I'm tired. We ain't even started. He said, Son, you don't even know what you're talking about. He pulled that thing out, and I said, Daddy, look out there. Every one of them made of plants, I mean potato plants, is dead. Bugs is eating them. They're withered. There ain't going to be anything under them things. They're dead. He said, boy, you just sit there and watch. My granddaddy got that plow. He went, and when he got done, I ain't never seen so many potatoes in all my life. All 40 of us jumped out there in that patch, and we all had baskets, and we all started picking up all them potatoes. See, all y'all thought you had to just go to the grocery store and pick up them potatoes. You just don't know. Should have lived in our day. And we went out there, and there was 50 Bushel baskets of potatoes. I sit down on that walnut tree. I said, Daddy, my back is about to kill me. I'm glad this is over. He said, two things, son. Number one, you ain't old enough. To, you ain't even grown into your back yet. He said, number two, he's going to go back again. I said, what? Yep, he's going back. And he did. He got on that tractor, went back again. It was more taters the second round than it was the first round. He didn't do it once. He didn't do it twice. He went nine times. I ain't never seen so many bushels of potatoes in all my life. We had potato soup one day. We had potato salad the next day. We had fried potatoes the next day. And the next day, we had uh, uh, potato, uh, every kind of potato you can think. We had potatoes every meal. All went along. We, we got to take home 15 bushels ourselves. I don't know where we put them. We had a Ford Pinto. Does that tell you anything, some of you older folks? Where do you put 10 bushels of potatoes in a Ford Pinto? 
It, I don't know how we, they must have been in our laps on our heads and everywhere. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. Those potatoes were there because my grandfather put the labor into it. Those potatoes were there because the people he brought into this world were there to help him. You know, that sounds like a church. You build a church, people win people to the Lord, and y'all work together to bring the fruit of the harvest in. We're missing our goal today as a church. We need to go back to soul winning. You see, Revelation chapter 14, verse 13 tells us something very important. We may die, but our works go on after us. I saw this little table over here with these great men of God who made the way before us. We wouldn't be on the radio today if it wasn't for them. And we got to carry on their mission to win souls to Christ. I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, listen to this, and their works do follow them. I'm here to tell you today, when you serve God, He took care of you yesterday. He's with you today, and he'll still be with you tomorrow. And he'll take your life, and he'll make more out of it than you could ever imagine. He's coming, and with his coming, he'll uncover the truth of our service, whether it's been faithful and true or futile and fruitless. And I want to tell you this afternoon, I don't want to be embarrassed before my God that I wasted my life that he shed his blood for. And I don't want to be embarrassed that I let him down because he's never let me down. He's never let me down. Amen. Now, Scott Dean has let me down every time I turn around. <laughs> he has. But God's never let me down. Amen. He's never made a mistake. He's never been late. He's never been early, as he said last night. He's always been on time. I share this with you. And I close my message. Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Young people, my prayers are with you. You're carrying loads that I never thought of carrying when I was your age because the world is in much worse shape today than it was when I was your age. My prayers are with you. And I beg you, have good courage don't give in to the world, to the wicked, but give in to the word of God. Amen. You see, he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Four little thoughts. First of all, his promises in this blessed old book, Amen. they're what he can do for you. There's a whole book. I think Brother Aiken said yesterday there were 3,000 or 30,000. 33,000 promises in the Bible. I don't know who counted them, but I'm glad he did and I don't have to. But I want to claim every one of those 33,000 promises. His prophecies is where he's headed with his plan. Know your prophecy. Look at what's going on in the world and be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Listen, we're not looking for signs anymore. We're listening for a sound. His precepts are what you are to do for others. Don't live for yourself. Don't live for yourself. Forget about you. And God will take care of you. Forget about you. And God will take care of others. And when you get to heaven, you'll be so glad that you did. His promises are what you can do for, he can do for you. His prophecies are where he's headed with his plan. He doesn't put us in the dark. He lets us know where we're headed. His precepts are what you can do for others, but his principles are what you are to do for him. And this book is full of the principles of God. You need this book more than you need math. That's no excuse not to do your math work. <laughs> you need this Bible more than you need English, more than you need history. You need those subjects. And you do well in them for the honor of God. But don't neglect this blessed old book. Amen. When I was your age, my mama 
gave me my first Bible. She went to the Christian bookstore in Lynchburg, Virginia. She bought that Bible. And I kept that Bible for years. I used it in Sunday school. I used it in Awanas. I used it in the youth department. I used it in school. And I wore that Bible out. And them teachers would tell us, this month, you're going to memorize John chapter 3. The whole chapter with only three helps made us memorize the whole chapter. Next month. This month, we're going to learn Isaiah 53. I couldn't even spell Isaiah. Much less learn it. Whole chapter, Isaiah 53. Folks, I sometimes got weary in memorizing them scriptures. But when I'm studying for messages today, those very scriptures I memorized at your age, I'm using them in messages, I'm sharing it with other people, I'm leading people to Christ. The smartest thing I ever did was doing what my teacher said when it come to the Word of God. Why? Because it's the most powerful, precious thing anybody can ever have. Love the Bible. When I think of WTBI, I think of the Word, the truth, the Bible inspired. That's what WTBI means to me because this is where you can get the Word of God. And folks, I want to tell you something. Love the Word of God. Only one life will soon be passed, but only what's done for Christ is going to last. Father, thank you for our time together. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. God, you've been so good to us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for, Lord, helping us serve you. And thank you, Lord, for helping us to bring other people to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Father, help us leave here today determined to not worry about when Jesus is coming, but be ready when he gets here. Be found with our lamps trimmed and burning, brightly with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bless these young people in this room, these adults, those by way of the website, those by way of the radio. I pray today the singing, the preaching of the word of God will draw us nigh to you because you promised if you draw nigh, we draw nigh to you, you draw nigh to us. Bless this campaign. Help us get the money raised today so that, Lord, we can keep on for another year being the light in a dark world. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Bless us today as we move forward to do much for you. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Our heads are bowed and eyes are closed. Let's all stand to our feet. Has the Lord, has the Lord spoken to you? Oh, so many of us have got great plans of things we're going to do, but we never get around to doing them. As they play softly on the piano, you mind the Lord. We'll tarry just a moment if God is speaking to your heart. You'd like to do business with the Lord. The altar's open. You are certainly, certainly welcome to come. And let's talk to the Father. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's make sure everything is, is right between our Savior and ourselves. Let's make sure our life is pleasing to God. As we tarry, you mind the Lord as we wait before him. Thank you, Brother Brian. You may be seated. We are so uh, thank the Lord for the good week God's given us. 
We are standing now on Friday afternoon, and we have, thank the Lord, got all of the Internet days have been spoken for. And uh, every day on the Internet, someone is called and said, I want to take today, and I'd like to uh, make sure that WTBI continues to send out a good signal over the, uh, over the computer, over the network of stations and over the computer. And so uh, you have given for the Internet. And we have every day spoken for in the month of, in the year of 2024, we have all the days spoken for for the internet. Now we're working on the days for the radio. And those of you that have been listening over the internet, thank you for taking care of the internet need. And those that are listening over the radio, we are needing and expecting you to come through and to help us on the radio. And so if you could... Uh, that would be a, that would be a great great blessing. The number to call is 864-295-2145. Let me remind you now that all of the stew has been carried upstairs in the uh, in the radio station in their uh, the uh, kitchen area. They've got it in the fridge there, and you don't have to worry about it going bad. But if you have called and you have reserved a number of uh, quarts. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hold it for you, but by noon tomorrow, if uh, no one has uh, has stepped forward and claimed things and got their stew, then we will we will open it back up. But we've got to think to about 26 quarts. If you'd like to have one, you can uh, call the radio station, ask for Sister Hawthorne, and tell her that you want one or two or five or ten or whatever of these uh, quarts of this stew, and uh, they'll set it aside for you. You can come by. And let us know you're here, and we'll, we'll bring it down to you. And so uh, you help us, will you? And if you've bought stew from us, it's upstairs in the refrigerator in the uh, WTBI kitchen area. So help me with that. And uh, so there's no one else out back to pass out. The stew is over, and we've had a, a very successful year. We want to thank Brother Frankie Taylor and the Emmanuel Amen. Baptist Church. They bought 50 quarts of stew for, from us. <laughs> And uh, just a tremendous, remarkable thing. And uh, we certainly thank the Lord for him. And so we're moving along now this afternoon. Brother Brian Coach is going to come. And didn't he do a good job yesterday preaching? I appreciate him filling in for Brother Ricky Cothran, whom I hear. I got word last night that he is better, Amen. Brother Kevin. And we thank God Praise for that. God has touched him and helped him feel better. And uh, we, we uh, certainly miss Brother Ricky. But we'll, we'll uh, try him again next year, and that'll work out really good. Okay, while Brother Coach is coming to sing, you go to the phone. Give us a call, 864-295-2145. Brother Brian. I got up this morning, and I started my day. God's mercy was with me all of the way his goodness stayed close by to meet all my needs my lord is taking good care of me i'm never forsaken i'm never alone one day i'm moving to my brand new home I'm blessed beyond measure, just look close, you'll see, my Lord is taking good care of me. When Satan comes tempting and he brings up my past, I'll tell him I'm forgiven and it's buried at last, the bloodshed blessings as I journey along. Good friend, 
friends, a family, a place to call home, the church where I worship, the Bible I read, my Lord is taking good care of me, I'm never forsaken, I'm never beyond measure just look close you'll see my Lord is taking good care of me I'm blessed beyond measure just look close you'll see my Lord is taking good care of me Brian, wonderful, wonderful job, and uh, we appreciate that so very, very much. And uh, let's see now, we are uh, the, the Rogers family are coming, okay? And uh, we appreciate them being with us while uh, they're getting ready. Let me have a. We need a, a, a reread. It says uh, Evelyn Rowland called in a day partnership of March the 9th in memory of her husband Ben Rowland who went to home to be with the Lord three years ago. He is in heaven celebrating his 90th birthday. And we certainly appreciate Evelyn Rowland from Easley taking this, this March the 9th as a day partner. Now we have, I think we've got it down to, uh, 55. I, how many? 55. 55 days left, and we'll have the uh, year on the radio taken care of. And so we have... Um, we have the uh, internet taken care of, and the one time we have that, that's going to be a blessing. But we have right now, we have 56 uh, different uh, day partners we're going to need to be able to uh, get out of the, the hole. Now, we can't go into January if, if uh, December's bills aren't paid. Right. And so you help us now. You, you uh, think about how you approach your church. And, and uh, sit there just a minute and think about how you could go and preach a, another church and let them know, hey, I know those dollars mean a lot to you, but uh, there's a war going on. And yes, our sir. boys and our girls are being killed senselessly. And let's, uh, let's see if we can't step up and try to help them. So, Lord, I just pray, God, that you'll put a hedge of protection around these dear soldiers yes. and use them for thine honor and for thy glory. Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we adore you. For every blessing you've sent our way, thank you, God, for uh, Sister Todd and, and Lord her diligence. I I pray God for Brother Sam and Brother Ward. That Lord, you'll meet that need, and God just be with us now. I pray, Lord, you'll bless this Sherathon. God, we realize that all is vain unless the Spirit of the Holy One come down. So we ask God that you'll do a work, you'll speak to hearts, and you'll do a, a special deed this this day to help you. Along the way. All right, we're going to have the Hudson sisters, and uh, they we missed Rogers. them last year. Rogers. I'm sorry, the Rogers family. And uh, we certainly thank the Lord for them. And uh, they did a wonderful job. I was hearing them throughout the, uh, some of the uh, early afternoon broadcasts. They were doing a great, great job. And a lot of people play their music and enjoy it so very, very much. So we wanted to bring it to you here at Tabernacle and let them come and sing for us today. who said I'd surely fall when I told them I'd given Jesus my all and I guess I really can't blame them for having their doubts for they only knew what I used to be but oh what a difference the Lord made in me what I real and praise God I'm still serving him now forever changed I'm forever changed all things are brand new I tell you it's true
That he promised to me I would still choose to serve The Lord faithfully But I cannot begin to imagine What he has in store Oh, for once I was lost And headed for hell But then I got saved Amen. Before they come and sing another song, we need to remind everyone that you are listening to 91.5 FM WTBI here in Greenville, South Carolina, also at WTBI.org. Well, it seems like we've uh, been told that we just have 55 days left and we will have, uh, we will have our share Day uh, partners for next year. And so um, I know a lot of folks like to wait till the last minute, but please don't do us that way this year. All right, let's get this 55. Let's get this thing taken care of. I just, I, in my heart and in my mind, I just cannot possibly think that we don't have 55 of our friends that are listening, that love the station, that uh, we, uh, you, you send in your prayer requests and we pray. We send in your church announcements and we announce them. Uh, we send in, you send in all of your special services and we try to push it for you. Yes, sir. And uh, we answer the phone when you call. We pray with you when you need praying. Sometimes we have to admonish people when they need admonishing. But uh, we try to be what God wants us to be for where we are, when we are, and how we are. And I thank the Lord for an open door radio. Amen. I thank the Lord that we have a chance to come and, and broadcast over the, over the uh, uh, airwaves. And so we, we need our friends to come through for us. We need 55 people to take a $400 one-time pledge, and that will take a day, and uh, you can call and you can give, and that will be a great, great blessing to our heart. 864-295-2145. Again, that's 864-295-2145. We're waiting to hear from you. I need you to go to the phone. I need you to call me and say, hey, put me down for, and uh, we'll make sure that we get that taken care of. So uh, 864-295-2145, and we're glad to have the Rogers family here singing for us, and we'll let them come back and sing a couple for us now. Wow. 
coming back here in just a few minutes and uh, singing one more. We got some more good preaching for you lined up. And so you just stay right by that radio dial. Well, we uh, have uh, the lines are open and we have a room full of folks that are answering phones this afternoon. And we sure would love to be able to uh, bring, uh, have them bring a card down with your name on it, stating that you're going to take a day on the radio and help us make sure that the bills get paid for that day in, in uh, starting in January the 1st. And we have, uh, we have uh, much expenses at the radio station, and we, are, we, we try with the help of the Lord to be as frugal and as, uh, as conservative as we can be in our spending, but it does take a great, great deal of money to uh, get everything taken care of and get everything operating like it's supposed to. And so uh, I need you to go to the phone, and I need, we just need about 50 people that would call up and say, hey, I'll take a day, just count me in, put me down, I'll, uh, I'll be happy to take another day. And if you did that, we could go into the, uh, the extra and pull yours out and have it ready for you. So if you're listening and you have not yet had a chance to come by and get your stew, if you have pre-ordered it, it's, it's waiting on you. And if you, have, uh, if you haven't been able to pre-register, you can still uh, come by. I think we've got about 20 quarts that are left. Amen. And you can come by the station and you can meet us and meet the, the, uh, see the advertisements and, and the uh, announcements, rather, that are, are listed. And we certainly thank the Lord for that. So you can call us right now and get through. That's 864-295-2145. Now we uh, want to make sure that we uh, give it, uh, give the the afternoon our attention, and we appreciate those that are standing with us today. Brother Steve Crouch from down in West Columbia is with us today, and uh, we say uh, good good afternoon to you, brother. Well, good afternoon, and make that Columbia now. That's a big difference from from Anchor Baptist Church in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. And we are thrilled to be back here again today. Had a good time yesterday. I wanted to come up and give everyone a good word from to the radio staff, Brother Dean, from a dear precious lady that we've been praying for. Her name Diane Goins. And I was privileged to visit with her earlier today over in the nursing home. And we just had a big time talking to one to another. And, and she misses being here and She's there in the nursing home. And the idea is that the radio reaches places where other folk can't reach or can't go. And right there, in the, when I walked into her room, Brother Dean, guess what I was listening to? WTBI. WTBI. Absolutely. And I said, Miss Diane said, you must be listening to that all the time. She said, it's on all the time. She never turns it off. Amen. And I thank God for that. And so we were talking about this, that, the other. And I said, I, you know, we have a new pastor, don't you? And she said, yeah. I said, how'd you find out? I heard it on the radio. Amen. And then she, I said, well, you know, we have an assistant pastor. How'd you find out about that? Uh, I heard it on the radio. Amen. And then, um, then I was talking to her. Miss Dine, I heard you had an accident yesterday. She said, how'd you find that out? I said, I heard it on the radio. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so what I'm trying to say is you folk out there, we need about 50 people to step up. And the, the ministry of the radio station reaches many places all around the world. But one place it definitely reaches is nursing yes, homes sir. where people cannot go to church. And, Brother Dean, I, I believe it's our responsibility to take church to them. Amen. If, we, if, if they can't come, we need to go to them. And one way we do that is right through WTBI radio. And I just thank God for that. 
Amen. And we have a wonderful open door here of radio, and we need to make sure that we continue it. We need to make sure that we continue to uh, do what we're supposed to do because it can be taken away. People said, well, that won't happen here. That can't happen here. This is, uh, this is the, uh, the great Tabernacle Baptist Church, and, and it is. But uh, the devil can get in anywhere. He can get and, anywhere, and yes. You just, uh, all you've got to do is just leave a little crack, and he'll kick a door in and uh, be on you. And so we want to make sure that we keep the hedge up. We want to make sure the wall is talking, preaching about the, the walls not being built. Right. Their houses were built, but the walls weren't built. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had spent more time building their houses and, and uh, getting at ease in Zion than they were trying to get the walls up. And so we need to, need to make sure we keep these walls up so that the gospel can go out and be a blessing. I just saw Brother Hal Williams, mm -hmm. and I know he and his wife are blessed by the radio station. Yes, They're sir. so faithful to listen to it. Here's Sister Irene Bell and her friends there. And uh, they're faithful, faithful listeners to Amen. WTBI. And it's a blessing to them. And then way in the back, back there, Brother Joey Foy, Joseph Foy, he's visiting with us. And uh, he is a faithful, faithful Woo! listener to WTBI. Great encouragement. Yes. And so we're here because of the radio station. We believe in it. We're behind it. We're backing it. We're supporting it. And we're trying, to, uh, we're trying to entice you to do the same thing. And so we've got about 55, 50, 55 names left on uh, the day calendar that we could, uh, we could take care of. So I need for you to go to the phone right now and give us a call, 864-295-2145. Again, that's 864-295-2145. Stand with us. And help us, and we'll uh, we'll be certainly certainly be blessed of the Lord. Okay, we'll let the Rogers family come and Amen. sing for us again. Doing a great great job they this are. afternoon. Enjoy hearing them, and they'll come back and sing two more for us, and then our next preacher. <laughs> the Christ who was slain on the cross has the power to change life today.
cross rivers, desert places I've known. But I'm nearing the home shore, the redeemed are rejoicing, heaven's angels are singing. I've come too far to look back. wonderful job, and they'll be back here in just a little bit. I hope um, a Mama will get to sing one, uh, maybe, and, and um, I enjoyed, I always enjoy hearing her. I didn't get to hear them yesterday like I wanted to, but well, uh, uh, Brother Kevin, we've had some pledges come in, Amen. and we certainly thank the Lord. We have a day partnership of September the 26th. This is going out to Kay Blevins down in Cleveland, Tennessee, in memory of her mom, Hilda Cash. And uh, Sister Kay, God bless you. We certainly uh, thank the Lord for you. And uh, thank you so much for this day partnership of September the 26th in, in memory of Hilda Cash. And we also have a day partner here for uh, Joe and Tammy Morris of Inman, South Carolina, taking February the 19th. And they're doing this in honor of Jesus Christ. I don't know anybody better than Jesus Christ to honor. Amen. Uh, there. So thank you for the Morrises taking February the 19th. Amen. And we have one here now for uh, July the 1st. This is uh, from Greenville. And this is from Jack Hawthorne. <laughs> and uh, he's thankful for my mom and dad and brothers for being an encouragement to me. And to WTBI for being an encouragement and blessing to all the listeners. Amen. And so we certainly thank the Lord. Uh, th this is a day partnership of July the 1st for Jack Hawthorne. Thank you, buddy. We appreciate friend. that. Yes, sir. He's uh, away at college and still uh, helping out here at the radio station. Well, that takes our total on up. I'm not exactly sure where our, our tote board will be, but we'll, we'll get us a count and we'll be back. But uh, we uh, are so close. We're, we are just uh, around 50 day partners, and we'll have this uh, need met. And uh, you, just, you just don't realize what a relief it is to my heart when I leave on Saturday night after share and we know that uh, all the days for the radio are spoken for and all the days on the Internet are spoken for. That lets me know that next year uh, we're going to be able to pay our bills. Yes, sir. We're going to be able to keep all the help paid and the insurance and taxes and the light bill and the royalties. And it just goes on and on and on. It's just a staggering the amount of money that it takes to operate a ministry this wide, this large. And so uh, it, can be a, it can be a burden to your heart. 
And when you, uh, when you think about days coming and we have no partner for that day, so that means those bills uh, get put on the next day, which is, uh, it makes it impossible. And so you start stacking like that and you never get caught up. And so I need my friends. I need for those of you that are friends of WTBI, I need for you to step up and I need for you to take a day. Now, we don't need but 50 of you and uh, we'll have this need met. And so uh, you could take a day. It's $400 pledge. You're not paying it today. You're not saying you're going to pay it tomorrow. You're just saying sometime next year. Now, you can pay it, Brother Kevin. Uh, we have um, uh, credit card machines yes, and sir. debit machines. And some people just want to go ahead and pay it, get it over with, so they don't have to worry about it. They right. don't have to worry about forgetting. And that's fine. That's what somebody wants to do. But you're saying next year sometime, that you will send in that pledge amount. Now, $400 is a day partner. And $400, I think, is, I believe they figured up, about $33 yes, a month. And, uh, and so, uh, what, uh, it's about, eight, yeah, about $8 a week that, uh, that you could set aside, just $8 a week. That'd be one trip to McDonald's if you <laughs> set that aside. And uh, I'd rather set something else aside rather than a trip to McDonald's. <laughs> but anyway, you set that eight dollars aside, and uh, you have your you have your four hundred dollars at the end of the year, and you can pay your pledge. And so we need some help. Now there's some businessmen out there, and I I have spoken to you two or three times, but more than that, the Holy Spirit of God has spoken to your heart. I was coming over their way this morning, Brother Kevin. Yes, sir. And I was pouring my heart out before the Lord. I, I was, uh, I was as serious and as, uh, as uh, open and honest with the Lord as I could possibly be. And I, I uh, asked Him to please, please help us today to finish things up. And I, I felt in, impressed to the Lord that there was there was maybe one businessman, at least one, because He impressed my heart that there's a businessman that's going to step up. And he's going to help us uh, with several days. I believe there are churches out there we haven't heard from. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, it's sad when you hear rumors of uh, people falling out with you and, oh and, and don't want to support you anymore because of this, that, or the other. You know, we're not going to agree on everything. Right. I don't care how much we like each other. Sure. I don't care how much how, how close we work together. There are going to be things that we don't like. Sure. I don't like bow ties. I don't like ties. And... Uh, <laughs> I, I think a bow tie, I think it's, um, um, uh, well, I won't say what it is. But anyway, I, uh, but that's not going to stop me from loving you yes, and sir. preaching with you and you preaching with me and helping us. And, and you're my friend. Yes, sir. And I'm not going to fall out with you over something silly like a bow tie. Right. Now, I'm not going to wear one, but I'm not going to fall out <laughs> we'll with you. We might make that happen. Yes, sir. You put it on me when I'm laying in a coffin, okay. all right? And you put me shirt, in a pink, and a pink shirt, shirt and a pink tie. All right. <laughs> And, uh, but anyway, uh, it's sad when you hear rumors of, uh, you know, folks not wanting to help you. And I can't imagine a church in this area that uh, could not support WTBI. We announce uh, uh, revivals, yes, sir. camp meetings, mission conferences, hot dog suppers, spaghetti supper, yes, turkey trots. And uh, I mean, we announce, uh, uh, you know, fun days and fall festivals and spring flings. And uh, we, uh, we announce it all. Yes, sir. And uh, we try to be a blessing. Some, some of the fellas have come by and they've wanted to put a commercial on. And hey, for a concert we, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, for a concert. And so we, we try to accommodate our churches as best we can and our preachers. Uh, we try our best to make sure that their program, the right program, is yes, aired at the right time. And Brother Yancey can testify to this. We've been on radio a long time. You won't find a station in this market, this size of a radio station, in this size of a market, that has as, as more economical a rate as WTBI. We could be charging probably three times what we charge right now yes, and still probably wouldn't be up to the industry standard. Sure. But it was Dr. Seitler's vision. It was his, his goal to have a radio station where any preacher, regardless of the size of his church, could be on if he felt like God wanted him to be on. Yes, sir. And uh, the Lord started that. Dr. Garrett came over to help uh, Dr. Aiken when Dr. Aiken first came back. And Dr. Garrett continued that ministry. He continued that help. And as I said, the last time I was with Dr. Garrett, 
uh, on this side before uh, before he passed, he told me that he had he had talked to Doctor Logan and he felt like I was the man that needed to follow him. And he said, Brother Dean, he said, uh, keep it straight. Amen. Keep it straight. And God knows my heart. I have tried with the help of the Lord to keep this thing as straight as an arrow and to continue in the, in the godly Christian way that it was set up and it has been run. I have tried with the help of the Lord to make sure we've been right there where Dr. Seitler wanted it and where Dr. Garrett wanted it. And with the help of the Lord, that's where we're going to keep it. And so this is something I just, I can't imagine a Christian, I can't imagine a church, I can't imagine a preacher who could not support something like WTBI. It's just, uh, it's just unbelievable to me. And uh, Brother Yancey and I, we, we were part of a radio station in Virginia, and uh, I was on that station, Brother Kevin, for 23 years. Wow. I broadcast on that station. I helped him raise the money. We had a, a share thon and we raised $275,000 to buy that radio station. Wow. And we bought it. And we had it. And uh, the preacher that, uh, his church and, and the preacher that owned it, it was in his name or wow. in, the, in his church's name, they got in some financial trouble over a Christian school. And the bank was fixing to come in and take their buildings. And he sold the station before we even knew that it was up for sale. Wow. And had we known, we could have bought it. We, there's enough of us preacher. We could have gathered around. We could have bought it. But he was, in a, he was desperate, and he just wasn't thinking. And I don't hold it against him much. I, I, I hated him for a while, but I got over it. And, uh, but uh, it was gone. He sold it to one of these big outfits that come in and buys a little station, and they they lumped up with ten or twelve other ones. Right, and they they broadcast. They've just got one one station, and the rest are satellites. They call them. And the first thing those birds did when they came in, they took all the local preachers off. Every time. Twenty three years. Walt is on there. How long? Probably twenty five years, and uh, put us off. I mean, we couldn't buy time on that station. They weren't going to allow it. And so uh, I felt, I remember I, I, I got real depressed about that. I got down and got discouraged. And, boy, I wept and cried just like I had lost a dear friend because I had. We had poured our hearts and our souls into that station. And I do not, with the help of God, with the help of my God, we are not going to let that happen again. Amen. So I'm 50, about what, about 50 day pledges away from having this thing wrapped up and having all of our days paid for and I just, I want to encourage you, you, uh, you can help us. $400 is not going to break you. It's not have to be paid today or next week or next month, just sometime next year. And uh, old Big Scott, he was a blessing to me. Yes, sir. He was talking to me. Miss Bell, Irene, you made those pledges and said you didn't know how you was going to pay them. And, and uh, boy, I just got all over Big Scott. He, he called and he said he was going to take one of those days. And pay it. And he told me, he said, Brother Dean, I don't know how in the world I'm going to pay it. He said, I'm praying we have a, a good year-end uh, a bonus. And I said, we will too. So I said, get on back to work and start pushing that dirt so you'll have a good bonus at the end of the year. <laughs> and uh, But uh, he said, I'm going to step out on faith. Irene, you do that. You step out on faith every year. Take multiple days. Don't know how she's going to pay it. A widow lady. But God God takes care of it every year, don't he? Every year those, those needs are met. And so uh, I, I just can't imagine anybody not wanting to support WTBI. Yes, sir. So uh, with that said, our phone number is 864-295-2145. That's my sermon for the day, all right? Your sermon. I'm through preaching today. <laughs> We've got a great preacher now, Brother John Morgan. I met this dear brother some time ago. I had a chance to go up and preach at their camp meeting uh, back uh, earlier in the year. And uh, uh, Kevin, you went up there with us, I believe, yes, that sir, night. I did. You wound up with a new suit, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Yes, sir. You, and and uh, didn't have a bow tie either. I, didn't, I got the bow tie later. Got it later. Okay. <laughs> Brother Morgan, you come. You preached our hearts. Now, listen, this thing's good and wound up. Don't you kill it now, all right? You get on up there and, and uh, have at it, brother. We're glad to have you at WTBI and share Amen. Hey, man, what a joy it is to be here. Take your Bibles. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. And when you find your place, let's stand in reverence to the reading of the Word of God. Those of you that are in the building, 
if you're driving, if you're going to stand, just stop and pull over to the side of the road while you do that. And uh, what a blessing it is to be here. I really mean that with all my heart. Thank you, Pastor Dean, for the privilege, the honor to be here. What a joy it is. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse number 57. When you find your place, say amen. Amen. Bible said, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our fathers, we bow in the wonderful divine presence of sovereignty one more time this side of eternity. I want to thank you for being good to us, kind to us, gracious, long-suffering. Thank you, Lord, for the saving grace of God. I want to thank you, Lord, for these verses you've allowed us to read today. Now I pray for a few moments this afternoon. God, you bless us with your presence. Fill us with your love. Help us for the glory of God. Lord, to get what we need from the word of God. I pray you'd send the money in. I pray you'd put it on somebody's heart to call during the message and just go ahead and pay for the next 20 years of radio work here at WTBI. Father, I know you're well able to do it. And I pray it would in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. You can be seated this morning, this afternoon. What a joy it is to be here. I'm going to be brief, be brief this afternoon, and so I want you to listen quick. All right, the Bible said, but thanks be unto God which give us, us the victory. I'm glad we've got victory in Jesus this afternoon, aren't you? Now, there's two words that we want to study. There's the word victory. In verse number 58, there's the word vain. And I want to preach on this subject this afternoon, on victory versus vanity. You can either have a victorious life or you can have a vain life. And I'm glad, thank God, I'm a part of that number. That it done crossed the River Jordan and done got over into Canaan's land. Amen, done tasted the fruit of what God's got for those that'll sell out and go with God and walk with God. Isn't it a joy? Not just to be saved, but to be saved and live the abundant life and the victorious life. Thank God there's victory in Jesus. Now you can't tell that by looking at most Baptists, amen, but there is victory in Jesus. Amen, the word victory in our chapter is found three times. Amen, he said in verse 54, we've got victory over the grim reaper death himself. We've got in verse 55, he said, oh grave, where is thy victory? We've got victory over the grave. I like that old song that said, ain't no grave gonna hold this body down. We've got victory over that. Then the Bible said, God give us the victory. We've got victory right from God. It's a gift that God has given us. But then that word victory means to utterly vanquish. It means to completely annihilate. We've got victory. We didn't do it on our own. Amen. We didn't get it from another man. Our victory comes from God and God alone this afternoon. Brother, but then we've got this word vain. I don't want to live a vain life. I want to live a life that's got meaning. I want to live a life that's got purpose. I want my preaching to have meaning. I want my prayer to have meaning. And neighbor, you do not have to live a vain, empty life this afternoon. Just well say amen right there. That word vain, it means to be empty. It means to be devoid of truth. It means to be empty handed without a gift. It means to be destitute of spiritual wealth of one who boasts of his faith as a transcendent possession yet has nothing in their hands or in their heart. Amen, it's vain. A life with no purpose. Amen, they say they got faith but no results in nothing. It's fruitless, it's vain, it's empty. Amen, and your choice is yours this afternoon. Amen, you can have a vain life or you can have a victorious life. Amen. There's vain believing, vain preaching, vain faith and vain labor. But if you go in the name of Jesus and you say by the grace of God that what we do can last for eternity. Neighbor, what we're doing here today, it isn't temporal work. It's eternal work. When you get saved, it's forever. When you make a change in your life, it ought to be forever. Thank God there's eternal decisions in me have to be made in our midst today. 
Victory versus vanity. Let me bring you the message that I'll be done this afternoon. First of all, we get our, and boy, if you don't get nothing else, I'll preach this afternoon. I need you to get this. Our victory comes from our doctrine. Amen. It don't come from a feeling, though I like feelings. It don't come from a vision. It didn't come from a dream. What we've got comes right straight from the word of God. Amen. Don't let that word doctrine bother you. It's just another word for teaching. Amen. I don't know about you fellas, but where I come from every once in a while, them mountain preachers will get up and they'll make foolish statements like this. Now, I didn't come to preach no doctrine. That neighbor, I'm telling you right now, you can't read one jot. You can't read one tittle. You can't read one verse without reading or preaching of doctrine from the word of God. Help we get our victory from the truth that's found in the pages of God's Bible. The neighbor of the Bible said that the truth shall make you free. Amen. I'm glad of the truth is what we stand on. I'm not standing on what you said. I'm standing on what God said. And it's a doctrine of the word of God. The neighbor that gives us victory this afternoon. Amen. I believe that'd make a Presbyterian kick it back here in the choir roll back. Much less a much less a good old fashioned Baptist. Say amen right there. Brother, I tell you our, our victory comes from our doctrine. Amen. Now you need to take note that First Corinthians is full of Bible doctrine. Amen. It's one of the most impregnated doctrinal chapters in the New Testament. Can I give you a few of them and these next doctrines that I may mention? Amen. If they don't help you, if they don't bless you, if they don't give you victory, then neighbor, you need help from God. First of all, there's the doctrine of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Brother, I've got news for you. Jesus is alive. Amen. 2,000 years ago, amen, they killed him. They crucified him. They nailed him to a cross. They ripped the beard out of his face. They beat the flesh off his back. They spit in his face. They put a crown of thorns on his head. He didn't fall asleep for three days. He didn't go in a coma for three days. That neighbor, he, uh, he died uh, from the top of his head uh, to the bottom of his feet. That uh, neighbor, when he died, uh, his soul went to the heart of the earth. Uh, his spirit went to the hands of the Father and his body went to the grave. Uh, but three days later, uh, when his body, soul, uh, and spirit reunited, uh, he said, I've got power uh, to lay it down uh, and I've got power uh, to raise it again. That uh, neighbor, up from the grave, uh, he arose, a uh, triumph over death, hell, and the grave. He is alive. Amen. 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 Thank God we're not serving a dead God. Amen. We ain't serving Buddha. We ain't serving a God. These gods that ain't got no legs, ain't got no mouth, ain't got no heart. Our God is alive. Amen. Amen. He got up. Now don't get too excited right here. The same power that got Jesus up 2,000 years ago is the same power. Amen, that got me up. Amen, 27 and a half years ago up when I knelt and the blood fell. It was the power of the resurrection of Christ that got me up, amen. That's a doctrine of the resurrection. Anybody, anybody in this building, if we had to, anybody, any one of us, we could take a dead body and we could dress it and we could get it cleaned up, and we could put it in the grave. Any one of us could have done like Joseph and Nicodemus did and take the body of Christ off the cross and take it to the tomb. We could have got the aloes and the myrrh. We could have done that, but there ain't nobody in here that could have got that body up. Ain't nobody in here that could have resurrected it. Only God's got that power, and it's the power of the resurrection. That's a fundamental Bible doctrine of those of us that have been saved by the grace of God. If you don't believe in the resurrection of Christ, you are in trouble. Can I get a witness right there? I'm talking about he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Hey, but not only that, but there's the doctrine of righteousness in verse number 34, the self-imputed, or not the self, but the imputed righteousness of God. Brother, I don't have time to labor this, but neighbor, hear me and hear me well. Thank God your righteousness and my righteousness is not gonna get anybody to heaven. Matter of fact, the only kind of righteousness that God would ever accept would be his own. That's why Jesus died on the cross. That's why you gotta be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Amen. Thank God for the righteousness of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
there's the doctrine of the resurrection. Well, that ought to fire you up. There's the doctrine of, of righteousness, the imputed righteousness of God. That ought to bless you real good right there. Thank God that he would clothe us in his righteousness. I like when that old prodigal came home. The father said, get the ring and get the robe and get some shoes. Have you ever taken notice that he never said what size coat to get, what size shoes to get, and what size ring to get? You want to know why? Neighbor, when you go to Calvary, one size fits all. Thank God the ground is light out at the foot of the cross. And neighbor, it's wonderful to know that I didn't have to work it up myself, that he didn't have to buy it up myself, but it is of the grace of Almighty God that gives us this righteousness. Now, if you had to do it yourself, you'd be in trouble. If we had to work our way in, we'd never get it done. If we had to buy our way in, it'd never get done. Some of you think because your daddy's a preacher and your mama plays the piano and that everything's gonna be all right. You'll bust hell wide open trusting in your parents' righteousness and your granddaddy's righteousness. Thank God if you ain't never been at a Calvary and put your faith in Christ and repent of your sins, you'll die without God and go to hell. But if you'll humble yourself and put your faith in him, he'll clothe you in his righteousness. Amen. Man, I know it's simple preaching, but it's Bible preaching. Praise God, that's where we get our victory from. Not only the, not only the um, uh, doctrine of re the resurrection and uh, that of the righteousness of God, but what about the doctrine of repentance? He said, he said in this text, verse number nine, he said he used to persecute the church of God. He used to persecute Christians. And brother, guess what? He ain't doing it no more. Now, if that ain't repentance, I don't know what is. That repentance ain't a dirty word. It ain't a cuss word. It's a Bible doctrine. And brother, Jesus preached on repentance. Paul all preached on repentance. John the Baptist preached on repentance. It's as simple as this. Repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus. Now, now lest I get sidetracked a little bit here, let me, let me, let me read that verse number nine. He said, for I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. I don't mean to get bogged down right here, but it looks like Paul might be just struggling a little bit right here. Paul, you're telling us how to have victory, and you're going back to what you was before you got saved. Hey Amen. Let me remind you and anybody else, if you're born again, what you was before you got saved, it ain't got an ounce of power over you anymore. It's been washed away. It's been clean. I'm going to tell you, we got too many people uh, that's dragging around a dead past, uh, living in a past uh, that God don't even remember. Uh, that God uh, washed away. And neighbor, hear me today. Our past has been forgiven. It has been forgotten. And we dare not, we dare not run around. Boy, I, I, I can only imagine what it must have been like for Israel when they crossed the Red Sea. Brother Chisholm, I, and the Bible said the bodies of those Egyptians washed up on the seashore. I can only imagine one of them Israelite boys going by there and saying, Daddy, ain't that that one that cussed you out the other day in front of Mama? Ain't that that one that beat the flesh off your back the other day? Yes, yeah, son, it is. And that little old Israelite boy reaching over there and kicking that dead Egyptian and saying, Daddy, he ain't gonna cuss you no more. He ain't gonna kick you no more. Neighbor, our past has no power over us, and we as Baptists have got to get a hold of that. We've got victory, but I do not thank God that I ain't got to stand before Jesus for what I was before I got saved. Boy, I'd hate to know I had to do that, wouldn't you? Everything I was, everything I'm ever gonna be, it got judged on the old rugged cross when Jesus died for our sins. Oh, glory to God, I gotta hasten on. I got a lot I wanna preach in a short time to do it in, but we'll find God's will. Amen, there's the doctrine of repentance, the doctrine of the resurrection. But in verse 52, I like this one. He said, verse number 52, he said, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. There's the Bible doctrine of the rapture of the church. Brother, one of these days, we're gonna leave this low land of sorrow and we're heading up for a land of this fire than day. Ain't gonna be no cancer. Ain't gonna be no graves. Ain't gonna be no heartaches. Ain't gonna be no hurt. Thank God we're leaving out of here like Superman and coming back like a long ranger. Yeah, why are you getting fired up? Cause I'm going to heaven, heaven bound with a hammer down. Thank God that Jesus
Jesus ain't going to leave his bride here. Yeah? Thank God we're going. Amen. Amen. I got news for you, mid Trevors. Let come on up in here just for a minute. I got news for you fellas. I, I'm gonna start me a business. Hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get me some backpacks and I'm gonna I'm gonna fill them I'm, I'm gonna fill them up with nothing, all right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna have it rolled on them. Your backpack, everything you'll need during the tribulation, and they're gonna be nothing in it. Cause if you're gonna be here for half of it, you might as well not pack your bags. You're gonna be here for every bit of it. The next main event on God's time calendar is the is the rapture of the church. Hey, bet if somebody said don't use that word rapture, it ain't in the Bible. Well, the word Bible ain't in the Bible, and you use that all the time. Call it what you want to, and they're catching away the rapture. All I know, thank God, is we're leaving. Yes, Amen to God. Praise God. I don't know, but that gives me some victory right there. I live up at the top of the mountain. I mean, you go across the state line on Highway 25. You can get off the first exit, hang a right, then hang a left, hang another right across the creek, take the first right, and you'll be at my house. And neighbor, I ain't got to go back there for nothing. If Jesus was to come back right now, I ain't got to make, I wouldn't have to, oh, and they'd be, put, well, I got to cover this up. And cover, ain't going to be no cover nothing up. Ready or not, here he comes. That's a doctrine. Every man that hath this hope in him, he purifieth himself. Do you want to be caught doing what you've been doing? Yeah. When Jesus comes back, yeah. absolutely not. So we get, our, we get our victory from our doctrine. On and on and on we could go. Do you ever get blessed reading your Bible? If you don't, you ain't reading it right. Say amen right there. And if you don't, you might not be saved. How come this book means so much to you? Because the author lives on the inside of me. Amen. The wonderful, God's wonderful book divine. It gives us everything we know about Jesus. We got it from the Bible. Everything we know about the blood. We got it from the Bible. Everything we know about heaven and hell and salvation. If you want to know how to be a good husband, Read your Bible. You don't know how to be a good wife? Read your Bible. Every answer to every question that you'll ever have is found in this Bible. And therefore, I declare unto you today that our victory comes from the word of God. That's why God speaks to us. Now, he speaks to us by his spirit. He speaks to us with his still small voice. But neighbor, if it don't line up with the Bible, that ain't God's voice. And that ain't God's spirit. Can I get an amen right there? We get some of you youngers woke up, ain't no telling what kind of revival we'll have around here. Amen. Brother, I tell you right now, we got victory. And if you want victory in Jesus, you want to be the exceptional young man or the exceptional young lady, you get a good relationship with your Bible. You get a good working relationship with the doctrines of the Word of God. You fall in love with the Bible and Jesus, you won't have them, your teachers won't have to worry about uh, hey, what you're going to be into and what you ain't doing. Ah, man, they won't have to worry about you. Acting like a devil during uh, afternoon service. Up uh, neighbor, I tell you right now, fall in love with the Bible. Yeah. You'll have revival. Yeah. There's victory in our doctrine. But then there's victory over death. And I won't labor this one. There's victory over death. Amen. We will read the verses. Uh, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? There's victory over spiritual death. For we got saved with spiritually dead. Jesus came to us, and when he saved us, he made us alive. He quickened us when he saved us, amen. When he saved us, he made us alive. So we're not spiritually dead anymore. He said, I come to give them life and that they may have it and have it more abundantly. God has given us victory over that spiritual death that we'd ended up in hell. He'd give us victory over the mental death. He'll give us victory one day over the physical death. If you hear I died on my way home, and I'm praying God will let me live a long time. Amen. Don't believe a word of it. I'll be more alive. Amen. Than I've ever been before in my life. Praise God. There is victory over death. But then, here's where I'd like to park out for about the next 10 minutes. There's victory on a practical matter. There is victory 
And uh, I got four points under one head, and hey, all I can, I ain't gonna drag it out, all right? <laughs> Amen. We've got the duties, our differences, our disputes, and our divisions. <laughs> and you can have victory in whatever, wherever you're living at today, you just apply it to where you're at, all right? <laughs> you can have victory in your everyday life. <laughs> and this crowd that every meeting they go to, they're about to quit. <laughs> every time they go to church, they're about to throw in the towel. Every time they testify, hey, but they don't give no testimony, they give a devil money. Hey, man, and you're sitting there in your pew wishing they'd sit down and shut up and somebody get up with a good touch of God on them. I mean, kill a service graveyard dead in just a matter of moments. Brother, I tell you, we got victory. You can have victory in any, and I know it ain't always gonna be shouting and swinging from the chandeliers, but brother, there's too many side roads and too many ditches. Amen to get our eyes off Jesus. How you get your eyes on God just right? You can have victory every day of your life. Victory. Well, how do I do that? Well, let's study the life of the Apostle Paul. If you'd look in verse number three, hey, the Bible said, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I received, how that Christ died according, uh, died according from our, for our sins according to the scriptures. Hey, but I tell you how Paul kept his victory. He did it biblically according to the scriptures. If you live your life biblically, you can have victory. Hey, but the next verse, number nine, he said, for I am the least of the apostles. He did it with humility. Brother, I tell you, Paul knew how to clothe himself with humility. He knew how to humble himself up underneath the mighty hand of God. And you don't never forget what I'm fixing to tell you. It is impossible for you to hide your pride and to fake any kind of humility. There is no way somebody can hide your pride and fake your humility. It's going to pop out on you somewhere. But if you'll do what the Bible said and humble yourself up out of the mighty hand of God, he'll exalt you in due time. And Paul did it with humility. Paul could have rightfully said, I wrote more books than the rest of them. Paul could have rightfully said, I preach more than all you guys. Paul could have looked at Peter and said, I know you preached on the day of Pentecost with 3,000 people got saved, but neighbor, I've seen more get saved than you have. Paul could have been boasting and Paul could have been bragging. And that's the difference between victorious people and vain people. Vain people want to live their life so everybody can see it. Vain people live their life on Facebook. Vain people put 10 posts up a day. Vain people take pictures of themselves. Vain people are the most, are the, somebody asked me about a fellow the other day. They said, what do you think about this one? I'm not going to call his name. And I said, you really want to know what I think about him? He said, yes. I said, he's got to be the best self-promoter that I've ever met in my life. Brother, that's a vain life. A vain people. Amen. Got vain lives. Amen. They're boasting on their, on their schedule. Boasting on how big their church is. Boasting on how much they pray and how much they read. I tell you, somebody's got victory in Jesus today. Ain't going to be boasting on nothing. We'll be glorying in the cross of Christ. And we'll be given up God the preeminence and we'll be exalted in Christ. The day's gotta come when it ain't about you anymore. You remember when we started out? We started out, everything is about us. Me, 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 me. Where can I preach? What can I preach on? Amen, what can I do to get open doors? And then one day we fell in love with the people of God. And it went from being about me to being about the people. Oh, we gotta help the people, be a blessing to the people. Then we left out and we realized the truth we'd been missing out on. It ain't about me, it ain't about the people. Neighbor, it's about God. It's about him getting glorified. It's about him being exalted. I've been to God. I tell you, you got a vain life. Hey, let me just run this rabbit. Diotrephes has got a very subtle way about making everything about them. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I've seen, I've seen them do it, brother, being a good revival meeting. And old Diotrephes walk up in and make everything about them. And you say, the presence of God just walked out the back door and didn't come back. Oh, that's a vain life. Oh, I hope somebody's getting some help today. You've got to have some humility. Amen, there'd be some humility. Uh, but then Paul, he said, uh, he did it in reality. He said, verse 10, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. I'm going to tell you what grace does. It takes away the fakeness. It takes
takes away the hypocrisy. It takes away the plastic. And it helps you. And it helps I to live a life of reality. Young people, you don't want to live in a fantasy world. You don't want to live a vain, fake life. And I can tell by the way that some young folk dress and the way they act and their attitudes, they're fake from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. But that crowd that's been to Calvary, that crowd that's serious about serving God, that crowd that's got some big trail, they've got reality about them. Oh, I don't have time to labor that. I wish I could. Amen. I tell you what he said. The, the grace of God brings reality in our lives. But then the grace of God, he did it abundantly. He said, I labored more abundantly than they all. But then he did it honestly. Now, now this is where we've got to get. If you're going to have victory in your life, this is what I've had on my heart all morning. If you're going to get victory in your life, you're going to have to learn to live honestly. You're going to have to throw every excuse you got away. You're going to have to throw every lie you got away and learn to live in honesty before God and with men. Watch this, Paul. There's a lot of people, they live their life like it's one big chess match. I can barely play checkers. I wouldn't know how to play chess. Amen, throw them up in there and shoot them with a shotgun, use them for skeet, be about all I know what to do with them. I don't think they'd make good fishing baits, amen, right? They might make a good sinker, I don't know, or a good bobber, but, but uh, you, you know, well, this fella, he did this, now I'm gonna make this, but no. That ain't the scriptural way to deal with your divisions, your disputes, your everyday, do. be honest. Amen. Young people, you get caught with your hand in the cookie jar, be honest. You get caught looking at something on your phone you ain't supposed to, be honest about it. You get caught doing something you ain't supposed to do, just be, yeah, I'm guilty, I'm sorry, I apologize. Help me, pray for me, that God will give me grace to overcome this and that I won't be guilty of doing this anymore. Just be honest. When Nathan confronted David, and the next young person, y'all got my heart, I'm gonna preach to any young people I ever get my eyes on, and the next young person that looks at me and says, Brother John, you just don't understand what I've got going on in my life is complicated. <laughs> you don't even know how to spell complicated, much less know what complicated is, amen? Amen to God. I'm telling you right now, there's a simple solution to your complicated problem. Just do like David did. He murdered a man, he committed adultery, had a baby out of wedlock, the baby died. He had to tell one lie after another lie, conspiracy after conspiracy. Hey man, he's got some of his men upset at him, some of the nation upset at him, but most of all, God's angry at him. And when Nathan came and rebuked him, you know what David said? David did didn't make some big long speech. He just said, I've sinned. Amen. And that's all it took. And brother, I'm telling you, simply walk on it before God and you can have victory. Amen. 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 Paul walked in. He wasn't sneaky. He wasn't surplantering. He didn't use trickery. He didn't use magic. He simply told forth the word of life. He wasn't a manipulator. He didn't manipulate the spirit of a service. Amen. He didn't look at life like a chess match. He didn't use enticing words. He didn't use entrapment. He did it affectionately. He did it heartily. He did it consistently. He did it zealously. And he did it repeatedly. Amen. He did it repeatedly. That's how you get victory in your life. Amen. Amen. There's victory. Victory over whatever. Amen. I don't forgot my points, but then lastly, and I'm done this afternoon. We can have victory in our decisions. Yeah. Verse number 58, read with me. This is our text. We'll leave it at this. He said, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. If you have st stood somewhere along the line, you made the decision to do so. Yeah, and, and whether you're listening by way of radio today or whether you're in this, in this auditorium this afternoon, you're gonna have to make a decision to stand. Sometimes you'll have to stand against people you go to church with. Sometimes you'll have to stand against people you go to school with. Sometimes you'll have to stand against people that you go to work with. I'm not talking about causing a big scene. I'm just talking about humbly standing against what's wrong and standing for what's right. Amen. Hey, boy, I tell you, there's victory in our decisions. Where to stand, who to stand with, who and what to stand against. Stand
standing up for and with and against. If you make a stand, you're going to be misunderstood. They're going to call you mean. They're going to call you ill-spirited. They're going to call you a Pharisee. And by the way, if you ain't never been accused of being a Pharisee, I very seriously doubt you got King James Bible separation, all right? And if you ain't never been accused of being a fanatic, I guarantee you, you ain't never been filled with the Holy Ghost. Say amen right there. Amen. Brother, I tell you right now, amen, you're gonna be misunderstood. Oh, he's just in it for the show, in it for the money. Neighbor, can I just stop right here and tell you if I was in it for the money, I would not be a Baptist. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be a charismaniac, amen. I'd, I'd, I'd go off and run with them bunch of devils that done left here a little while ago, amen. I, I'd, I'd run, but I, I, I ain't in it for the money. You ain't in it for, you better not be in it for the money. Praise the Lord. There's, you'll be misunderstood. You'll be misrepresented. But if we can take our Bibles and clearly and plainly show this is why we stand the way we do, we can have victory. Absolutely. No, you either have victory or vanity. There is no middle ground on the subject. Hey, don't run from the battles. I remember as a young preacher, brother, every battle that come down the line, brother Jeremy, well, I'd go jump right in the middle of it until I was going to be the hero, straighten out the young brother and straight out, straighten out the older brother. Oh, but then one day it was a glad day in my life when I found out I didn't have to straighten everybody out. Amen. And I quit running to the battle and I thought this is going to be easy. I'm just not going to run to them battles anymore. And brother, it wasn't long. A battle come looking for me. And my fight come looking for me. You ain't got to go looking for one. If you stay and for God, the fight's gonna come looking for you. Amen. 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 Don't run from the battles when they come. Our church, our family, our freedom, and our doctrine is worth fighting for. Amen. Verse number 57, and we'll close with this. But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. May I just say it like this. The most, what I feel like is the most overlooked word in this whole chapter is found right here in verse 57. But thanks. Thanks. Have you thanked God enough to hear him say you're welcome? If all we have today is what we thank God for yesterday, what would we have? Neighbor, I wrote it down like this. We spend a lot of time praying for victory. We spend a lot of time laboring for victory. We spend a lot of time looking for victory. But how much time do we really spend thanking God for the past victories that he has given us? Well, Brother Morgan, I'm in a battle. What in the world can I do to get some victory? Well, why don't you stop and thank him for all the other victories he gave you? Amen. Now, I tell you, we're past due on saying thank you to Jesus and thank you to God and thank you to the Holy Ghost. Hey, man, if we get to being thankful for what he's already done, there ain't no telling what he'll do for us in the future. Thankful. Fathers, we bind your wonderful presence. Pastor Dean's gonna come take the service. I pray you'd fill him with the Spirit of God. Breathe on this share I pray you'd send the money in. Give great grace, great strength, great power. We'll glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Well, a wonderful, wonderful job this afternoon. Thank you so much, Brother Yancey. Thank you, Brother Morgan. Now, before I dismiss the school, hold on. I want y'all to, uh, to give me your attention. I'm going to let you go. I want to thank y'all for coming up and being with us every afternoon. And uh, y'all have done well. You've listened, most of you, and uh, when you weren't sleeping. But I want to thank you, and I'm going to do something nice for you uh, in the next few days, okay? Thank y'all for coming up. Thank you for being a big part of our afternoon services. Y'all are dismissed. Go home. Bless your heart. Get some sleep, some of you. You look plum pitiful. And uh, yes, sir, you, look, you, you look, look like you've been up all night. And, uh, uh, that's pretty bad. But boy, talking about looking good. What I'm seeing right now is looking mighty good to me. And uh, this is the A.G. family setting up. And I think the last time I saw these folks was in Grenada. Uh, trying to find something to eat and water to drink and uh, trying to find something didn't kill us. And, uh, that was a trip. If there, there was one, that's the truth. But the, this is a precious family. 
And they're not going to get to be with us but just about, about 24 hours. And y'all going to be taken off to Mississippi and the boots off your foot. That's a blessing, isn't it? I have seen y'all since Grenada because you was hobbling around trying to get sympathy with a big boot on your foot, making folks feel sorry for you. And uh, I watched you walk. I, I didn't see any limping. I knew what was going on. But uh, I, I'm glad we prayed for you, and I'm glad you're feeling better. And uh, we appreciate this family. We, uh, we knew them, and, and we loved them. But I tell you, you go to a mission field with somebody, you'll find out what they're made of. And uh, it's not everything is silver and, and spice and everything nice. But this is a great family. They love the Lord and they serve the Lord and they're faithful. They're not afraid to roll their sleeves up and work. They're not, uh, they're not so high-minded. They can't reach down and, and pick up a little uh, poor kid on the, on the side of the road or on the street corner. Down in some of those cities we were in, I watched them uh, grab them and hug their neck and kiss them and give them a Bible and try to be nice to them. And that meant something to me. I, I know some people, they, they wouldn't be around folks like that. They, uh, they don't want to be around them. But uh, y'all didn't run from them. Y'all ran to them, and I appreciate that. This is the real McCoy. If they're not, they sure have got me fooled. And I believe in them, and I love them, and I'm glad to be around them any chance I get. And uh, we're going to let them come and sing for us. Before they do, Brother Bordis, it's good to see you, preacher. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your wife like that. Y'all uh, finish talking and let me know when I can speak to you, all right? And uh, we appreciate you being here. And I uh, know y'all are in revival. Brother Suttle was by earlier. And boy, it was so good to hug that man's neck. And to hear God's blessing him and he's doing well and preaching and y'all are in revival. I believe tonight's the last night. And uh, I appreciate you coming by today. And while they're singing, how about you making your way up here? And uh, we'll talk to you, Brother uh, Chisholm, somewhere. He's done, he's done run out on me. We, we must have given him his check. He's gone. And uh, <laughs> he's gone. Yes, sir. And so uh, we're going to have them come around here a little bit. And my granddaughter... You going to help us raise money? You're not. You're just going to sit up here. Okay, well, that's fine. That's what you want to do. We need something pretty on this stage. Speak for yourself, all right? <laughs> Go put a bow tie on or something, all right? Here's the AJ family to sing for us. It's 306. You're listening to the best sound around. WTBI 91.5 FM in Greenville, South Carolina, and WTBI.org. We are in Sherathon. And we need to hear from you. We're 50 days away from wrapping this thing up uh, for our, uh, our budget. So you go to the phone right now. Give us a call, 864-295-2145. The ages are going to come sing a few songs for us today. I sing the mighty power of God that made the abroad and build the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command and all the of the Lord that filled the earth with I sing the mighty form the creatures God. with his word and then pronounce them good Lord how thy wonders are displayed where'er I turn my eye if I survey the flashed chain or gaze upon the
you to go back and sing that second stanza. I can't speak for anybody else, but God's been mighty good to me. Amen. If I fell over dead behind this uh, table, I could say that God has been better to me than I deserve, better to me than ever dreamed that Amen. he would be. I've got so many reasons this afternoon <laughs> that I can praise my God. Amen. 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 Sing that second stanza again, partly. 
There are many things that I could praise God for. And if I started now until I died, there'd still be many more. If I could mention only one, I'd have to thank him for his son. Now that's enough to praise the Lord. God has certainly been good to us, and we ought to praise him for what he has been doing this week. Uh, we have the ages with us all this afternoon here in the 3 o'clock hour, and you'll be hearing more of them singing here in just a moment. Uh, but we have a couple of pledge cards that we want to share uh, with you that have come in. A couple of calls were coming in during the preaching. Uh, they were Brother Morgan. And so we're going to try to get through a couple of them here this afternoon and let you know what's going on, where we are at in our pledges. We want to start off first, though, with a one-time partner, uh, being Carson Coates uh, from Marshall, North Carolina. He is sponsoring in honor of his granddaddy, uh, Gene Coates, who is 95 years old. How about He's that? done $20 there in cash. It's paid. And so, Carson, uh, we thank you for doing this in honor of your grandfather. Wow. And uh, we've got another one-time anonymous gift uh, of $100, praising my blessed Savior. And, boy, how do you get any better than that Amen. right there? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Here's a one-time gift of $200. This is Justin Anderson of Pickens. And uh, giving this $200 in honor of New Hope Baptist Church in Pumpkintown. Pastor Amen. Anderson and family, thank God for making the place they didn't want to go the place they don't want to leave. Amen to that. <laughs> thank you so much. And that brings us up to $8,500 in one-time gifts. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Wonderful. And we thank the Lord for that. from Justin Anderson uh, for February the 24th. He's also sponsoring in honor of the New Hope Baptist Church uh, there in Pumpkin Town. Pastor Anderson and family, thank God for making the place they didn't want to go, the place that they wouldn't want to leave. Uh, this is another day partner for February now the 24th and we thank you, Brother Anderson. And uh, we have an anonymous gift here from Harris, North Carolina, taking a day partnership of March the 21st hey. in honor of my mother's birthday. And this is a $400 pledge. It's already been paid for. <laughs> Anonymous gift from Harris, North Carolina. Thank you so very, very much. Well, we appreciate, uh, and I say this every year, we appreciate every gift of every size. Yes, sir. But when it comes to the, this part of share it takes some. it takes some bigger gifts. Yes, sir. Uh, all gifts are, are, we're so thankful. Amen. But right here, I have a three-day sponsorship, <laughs> paid, three-day sponsorship from Tim Widener of Easley. December the 17th, in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. July the 14th, in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
April the 8th in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> bringing us over a brand new level of $128,000. Yeah. We only need, need $18,000 to reach our goal is all yeah. we need. We have one from the uh, Conesty First Baptist Church uh, taking March the 10th. They do this in honor of their shut-ins. And we thank the First Baptist Church of Conesty for taking March the 10th. And we have uh, we have two more here, uh, Brother Brian, from Brother Tim Widener. Oh, wow. And uh, from <laughs> Easley, he's taking September the 25th in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's taking uh, November the 13th in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we certainly thank the Lord for these two more days. I believe you had three. That's a total gift of $2,000. And Hold now on. here's two more. Amen. Praise and, uh, God. And you got more? And we have two more. Two oh, more. Wow. So Brother Widener took May the 25th. Praise God. As well as March the 5th. And of course, all doing this in the honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we praise the Lord for that. Thank you, Glory. Brother Widener. Yes. Amen. Josh Nix of Calpin, South Carolina. Takes February the 27th, a $400 uh, pledge in honor of his pastor and pastor's wife, Joel and Donna Phillips. And then Amen. also, Josh Nix takes September the 25th in honor of his daughter, Mackenzie Nix, who got saved on September the 24th, Amen. honoring Amen. her spiritual birthday. <laughs> and this is another landmark, $130,000. We only need 41 days Amen. sponsorships yes. is all we have left, 41. Yes. Amen. 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 We ha go ahead, brother. Okay. Uh, well, we got one from Josh Spencer taking September the 19th from Spartanburg, South Carolina. He's doing this in memory of Reverend B.C. Morgan. And that's a $400 pledge from September the 19th. Thank you, Brother Spencer. Amen. We have Philip Moore of Ennery, South Carolina, taking July the 2nd in honor of the Ennery First Free Will Baptist Church. And this is a paid day sponsorship. Thank you so much. And Jason Paris of Taylor, South Carolina is taking March the 25th <laughs> in honor of his son, Noah Paris, and daughters, Jenna Paris. He prays that the Lord would always keep them in his loving care. This takes us to a brand new total on the tote board now, $132,000 yes. on our day, partners. Here we go. Yes. partner being March the 12th from Robert Jerkins there in Crosby, Texas, one of our faithful listeners. Uh, he is sponsoring this day saying, I appreciate and I'm thankful for the morning get together and the men who pray as they have prayed for me over the years. Um, uh, during with uh, my, his battle with cancer since 2017, uh, their prayers and the prayers of WTBI have helped me through treatment. So Brother Jerkins has taken $400 pledge uh, for March the 12th, and we are certainly very thankful uh, for that. Well, I uh, we were at the radio station one morning, and I, Brother Ag, I, I didn't just didn't want to be there. I my heart wasn't in it. I just I don't know what I was just going through something, and I just. Uh, I was having a hard day, and I just, I was thinking, I just really don't want to be here doing this. And Brother Jerkins, just gave up from Texas, he texted me, and he said, Brother Dean, he said, uh, uh, I'm just praising the Lord. I'm on my way down to the hospital to get a chemo, chemo treatment for my cancer. 
And I'm thanking the Lord he's, he's let me see the day. And I thought to myself, you low down sorry devil, you're thinking, uh, you know, don't want to be here. And that man's praising God, going to get chemotherapy for his cancer. And you all swelled up about some nothing. And boy, I tell you, it got me under conviction. I had to ask the Lord to forgive me. And a uh, man praising God for Amen. chemotherapy. Wow. And I couldn't, uh, you know, I wasn't praising him for anything. So I tell you what, we, in just the last hour, uh, we have come up, Brother Brown, we've come up $10,000. When I sat down here, that was 122. And since then, $10,000 has yes, come sir. in hey, yes, on the day. And you've got it down with what need 35 days left? That's all we got. 35 days left, and we'll have this thing, we'll have this thing, as far as the budget wise, yes, we'll sir. have this thing gone over That's it. With. And so, Who's going to uh, be next? And we've been needing some Gideons today. Yes, sir. Uh, that small amount that uh, drove out the Midianites. And we're looking now for 35 more people that want to give $400. And you can just add $33 a month to your budget. And uh, send, you can do it that way. Or you can just send a one-time gift of, of $400. You can mail that check in. Or you can call and pay for it over the phone. Or uh, you can uh, pledge that and bring it by sometime later on. But that, that is neat. We need to go ahead and tally those up today. We need to knock out these 35 days Amen. today. <laughs> and somebody can go to the phone right now. You know, we were talking. I, I said uh, this morning on my way over, the Lord, uh, Lord spoke to him and said, you're going to have a, a businessman going to going to really put a, 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 a blessing on you. And I appreciate that one good brother for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two or three thousand dollars. Yes, sir. And I appreciate that. But listen, we appreciate that, but we appreciate the thirty dollar gift. Amen. Oh yes. The three dollar gift. That's Amen. right. Uh, those that can't, that can't give it all, but they pray for us. Yes. Listen, I I thank God for all of them. And you know, all of us just getting together and doing what we can, we can get this job done. Yes, yes sir. Now, Brian, there's thirty five people that are yes. listening right now. I believe it. There's 35 people listening right now. Maybe you a pastor a church. Maybe you teach a Sunday school class. Maybe you're a Christian businessman, or maybe you're just a, a common, ordinary right. a person, and you say, Brother Dean, I can make a difference. I can step up. I can take a day for $400 yes, sir. and help WTBI pay their bills yes, for that sir. day. Yes, sir. And so you can help us, 864-295-2135. 864-295-2145. And uh, I'm, I'm sinking. I'm kind of like the Titanic right now. I'm taking on water. And so uh, been, it's been a long week. And uh, I had poor old uh, Steve Crouch in West Columbia. And, uh, West Columbia. Yeah. That's not so bad. I was, I was praying one night and had a missionary on Mars, I think, before it was over with. And I fell asleep praying. It's like so, Moses on the ark, right? Yeah. And second Ephesians and all that. Yeah, it don't work out too well. We had a morning get-together. I'll hurry up and I'm going to let the ages come back and sing. But uh, we have prayer time to top of the hour. And we got through and I clicked the mic off and the news or our uh, legal alert with David Gibbs. And it all came on. And Brother James leaned over to me and said, Brother Dean, he said, uh, what's them pumpkins on the wall got to do with anything? I said, what are you talking about? He said, you got to pray and you're praying for the pumpkins on the wall. I said, um, I don't know, but it must be something coming. I, I have no idea. I done fell asleep praying. It was praying for the pumpkins on the wall. <laughs> yes, sir. But anyhow, we appreciate you listening. I'm so glad to have the ages with us. They're going to be with us less than 24 hours. And they're going to have to head to Mississippi, I believe, they leave here. And speaking of that, real quick, I, I got a text. Brother Schultz, he said, uh, boy, he enjoyed Brother Morgan's sermon. And uh, and he was just saying here, uh, he's listening uh, from uh, Holly Springs, Mississippi, en route to Marion, Arkansas. And he's enjoying the good singing, enjoying the good preaching. And this Brother Schultz. And we appreciate him so very, very much. Amen. 295-2145, The Agey Family coming up next. They're going to do two songs for us as you call 864-295-2145. Need 35-day sponsors. Go.
Five two one four five, and we are honored to have Pastor Leslie Bordis of the Morning Star Baptist Church in Easley with us today. Amen. And brother, you take a minute and give a word of testimony. Thank God for what He's doing. Uh, like I said a while ago, the everything with us is initiated with God. And That's I, right. I thank God for what He's done for uh, the radio ministry thus far. Looking forward to some great things already uh, today, and and uh, praying that God will finish this thing out tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, God can send the rest of these pledges in. Let me give just get a challenge to all these Pickens people, Amen, that are listening. Uh, several pledges a while ago, and uh, from Pickens County, keep it up, Amen. And uh, we serve a good God. That's God's country over there. We claim that. <laughs> but uh, it's a joy uh, to be able to be here today. Thank God for what He's doing and and what He's going to do. Amen. Wonderful. Do you have a, a, a meeting coming up soon? or um, Tonight uh, is the last night other than Sunday. Um, we've been in revival with Brother Scott Suttle. Amen. Oh, Brother Suttle. God's been doing some tremendous praise things. Praise God, yes. Scott's been uh, preaching his heart out, and I tell you, God's doing a work, and we praise the Lord for Brother that. Brother Suttle's been my friend for 20-something years, and Amen. he's gun barrel straight. Appreciate Amen. you Amen. having him Amen. over there. Amen. Amen. Well, we've got some technical stuff to take care of here. Uh, have we done the top recently? Have we done all that since after service, or do you know? Uh, I don't know. I just Well, got let's on, do so. it just in case. All right. Well, so you, you are... go ahead and take care of the legal stuff, and then we'll come right back. All right. Well, you are listening to WTBI.org and 91.5 WTBI in Greenville, South Carolina, and also on YouTube, Sermon Audio, and Facebook. And we do want to thank our share Day partner for today, which is Clarence Mosley of Simpsonville, South Carolina, and he sponsors in honor of the U.S. Marine Corps' birthday. November the 10th, 1775. Mr. Mosley quit school and joined the Marines in 1954. At the age of 17, he served for five and a half years. His time in the Marines helped shape his early life, and he is grateful. And our WTBI internet partner for today is Sherry Harris of Liberty, South Carolina. She is wishing all the servicemen and women a happy Veterans Day. Amen. And says thank you for your service, and we do thank them for their service. Amen. And our share partners do help cover the listeners' portions of operating expenses for WTBI Radio. Amen. And we thank all of you for your help with share 2023. Well, Brother Bordas, we have, I'm going to get you to help me read this. We have got um, just a few days left, and I've done all the math here. We need 36 days left to be sponsored. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you read all the months that are already gone. So every month that has a zero, go ahead and read those off. And these are the months that are closed out. All right, no, no available days in January. Uh, we praise the Lord for that. February, uh, May, August, September, and October. No more available days. We praise the Lord for that. Amen. And uh, next year is a leap year. Oh, yeah. So we have to fill 366 days at $400 a day. And that total is $146,400. Now, right now, we're at $132,000. And we need 36 more day sponsorships at $400 a piece. And we have three hours and 21 and a half minutes to do it. I think we can do it. So before you leave, I want you to pray for us Amen. that the Lord will provide 36 more day sponsorships so that tomorrow we can come in here and raise money for the uh, production facility. All right. So um, pray for 36 more days. All right, brother, you go ahead. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we do want to thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you, Lord, for the indwelling of the Spirit of God and Amen. sealing us, Lord, with your Spirit. Thank you, 
God, for what you've done already. And Father, we just commend the rest of this support, Amen. these 36 days, Amen. God, into your hands. Yes. God, knowing, God, that you're able to raise this support up. And Father, I pray you'd put it on the hearts of these, God, that are able. And Father, I pray, God, that they'd receive an extra blessing Amen. and a satisfaction of participating in such a great work that reaches around this world. Amen. And Father, we praise you, God, for the privilege, Lord, to listen to this radio station. And God, yes. what a joy it is. It brings a joy to our hearts. And God, uh, from day to day and from time to time as we're able to tune in, God, bless it and use it and preserve it yes, God. and provide for it. Lord, we love you and we'll look forward to what all you're going to do. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much, brother, for stopping by. And I believe the AG family have a $14,400 song in your repertoire somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's a banjo. That's a $14,000 song right there. And uh, so if you, if you can, you're listening, if you can, Go to YouTube, Facebook, or Sermon Audio and type in Tabernacle Greenville. And if you don't put in Greenville, there ain't no telling us what you're going to get. Now, Tabernacle Greenville on any of those three channels, and it, well, you can actually watch these guys. And uh, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Uh, they've got a mandolin, a banjo, and a guitar, and a... She thinks she's playing the bass. I don't know what that thing is, but uh, it's, a, it's a little something. It's a ukulele with fat strings on it. It's all yeah. I know. It's... But it's a, it's a low-key ukulele. Is well, I don't know what that thing is. But anyway, they're playing it, and they're playing it well. David played skillfully, right? Amen. And these folks are as good as I've heard anywhere, and they're excellent. So you're going to hear them. The number's 295-2145. Have you all got that number memorized? Have you I made you do this last year. Cut their mics on, and they're going to give the number on 3123. 864-295-2145. Go. Amen. That's Brethren, we have been to worship and adore the Lord our God. Will you pray with all your power while we try to preach the word? All this vain unless the Spirit. They're going to get ready for another. We got a little talking we got to do here, Brother Chisholm. Yes, I've got sir. a challenge here. All and whenever right. we have it, every year we have some, something. And this year, a precious listener came by and said, um, I can't take a whole day, but I can give $50. And I would like to sponsor, I would like to, I'd like to sponsor a day, but I can't. So I'd like to challenge other people to join with me on this sponsorship. And we're going to do a day together. Right. So she gave her $50 and said, I'm going to be the first one. Well, somebody called in and gave $100 toward it. Mm -hmm. 
And so now we, we need $250 to finish out May the 19th. And that's the only day left we have in May is May the 19th. And so if you would like to give $50 toward this day sponsorship, and it says sponsoring this day in honor of somebody who prayed for me. Amen. And I like that. I, I do. And uh, so if you'd like to do that, you call call uh, 295-2145 and ask to speak to Mrs. Hawthorne. And she will um, she'll she'll put your name in the pot for that, and we need to t get that taken care of. And right now, all we have left is six days in the month of March, four days in the month of April, four days in July, five days in November, and four days in December. That's um, 25 days. That is that right? Five, four, nine, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, twenty-three days is all we have left on this calendar. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? Wonderful. Yeah. So you be one of those days at 295-2145. How you doing? I'm doing great, brother. Busy day? Busy day, busy day, but been, been listening all, off and on. And my, this morning, it was just jam-packed with excitement. Oh, it was and fantastic. I, I think when I left after the service last night, we were around 66,000, I believe. And uh, now the Internet's finished, to God be the glory. And uh, the day sponsorships, I think, were like at one hundred and maybe one hundred fifteen hundred ten thousand yeah. yeah. and uh, to see it jump up uh, to, to only needing 23 days to god be the glory we're grateful for god's people standing with us here on this big friday amen it's been a big push today we're so grateful and thankful for the excitement and uh, there goes the phone again amen we okay, need to hear so from you 31 days so uh, i see what happened here so we need to get the month of may straightened out and we've got 31 days left to get us over in next year's leap year, or it'd be 30 days. That's not right. This is this is from upstairs. This is from the, this is from the one that's uh, you know. So whenever we get one of them little sticky notes, we change that over there, and we hadn't got one in a while. So maybe you can help us with that, Doctor Wallace. That'd be a blessing. Two nine five two one four five. As we get our math straightened out, we'll hear from the Ag family. They have a they got a song for everything. They've got a song for a math fix. Okay. And uh, help us out. Two nine, bail me out of this. Two nine five two one four five.
Amen. Thank God we are free to worship. God Amen. is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. I appreciate the goodness of the Lord unto us in these days. We're so thankful for God's people standing with us here at WTBI Sherathon 2024. We are around 30 days left, I believe, uh, to having the day sponsorship taken care of. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. I remember the first time I heard him sing that song. It reminded me when I was a kid and the first time I was ever in a service, it was at Swano Heights Baptist Church. Mm. And um, the Booker family, I don't know if you remember them. Oh, yeah. The Booker family and Dr. Sammy Allen. And it was one of those nights, and I saw a man, and I, I saw with my, with my own two eyes, and this is an independent Baptist church. I saw a man lap the building, and his knees were hitting his elbows. I mean, he was just <laughs> like a soldier running. Wow. And uh, I've chased that since that day. Now, it ain't always like that. Sure. You may go through five years and not be in a service like that or where people are shouting and rejoicing and praising the Lord. But I sure am glad I've, I've been a part of old-time religion. Absolutely. And that's not what produces the consistency and the steadiness of a Baptist church. That's right. right. Yep. The consistency and the steadiness of a Baptist church will allow the people to rejoice. That's right. And uh, experience a... Um, Sometimes a move of God that that's, that produces an emotion, mm -hmm. and I thank God for that. And I know Christians that ain't, that don't have a nickel's worth of emotion, and that's okay. Sure. Yeah. But uh, if you're an emotional person, it's okay to worship the Lord with a tear. That's right. Or a raising of the hand, or a, exactly right. uh, a lifting of the voice. That's right. And I thank God for that. That's exactly right. The Lord has certainly made us all different. We have different makeups, different emotions. Amen. But uh, as you said, uh, uh, it can be with a tear, can be with a risen, risen hand, but he's worthy. Amen. He's worthy Amen. nonetheless. The Bible said, let us offer by him, right. therefore, let us offer right. a sacrifice of praise to God Amen. continually. Continually. Amen. Amen. we got some pledge cards. We're, we're narrowing this thing down, brother. Go ahead. All right. We got Roger Phillips from Landrum, South Carolina, taking November the 6th as a day sponsor, and he is doing it in memory of Scott and Eunice Phillips. And we thank you so much for that. And we're thankful to James Williams of Greenville, South Carolina. He's taking two days, March the 3rd, March the 3rd, and he does this. Uh, in, uh, and, and, of course, James Williams, the, uh, this will be under Upstate IT Solutions mm. uh, in memory of all the babies who were victims of abortion. Wow. Wow. IT Solutions can be reached at 864-320-6205. Thank you, Mr. Wow. Williams, for taking March the 3rd. And then also James Williams of Greenville, South Carolina, taking July the 11th. And he said uh, that this is the Williams family in memory of Mir Mildred Hill Williams. Thank you so much for taking July the 11th. Amen. Amen to that. Tremendous. Joyce Gearhart of Liberty, South Carolina, taking April the 30th, $400 in memory of her husband, Lou. And uh, thank you so much to Joyce Gearhart. This taking us over a brand new level. Amen. Of $134,000. And we praise God as we hear our theme song one more time. Two nine five two one four five is the number to call. Let's keep those phones ringing this afternoon. Five minutes to the top of the hour. We're enjoying live music here in the chapel uh, on the property of Tabernacle Baptist Church. We appreciate so very much the A.G. family, and we love this family and the Lord. Thankful for their dedication, their spirit, and uh, their love for Christ. And uh, they certainly are a, an example of a family that loves the Lord. Yes. And we're thankful for them being with us here at Sherathon 2024. They're going to sing a couple. Let's keep the phones ringing, 864-295-2145.
should I gain any praise? Let it go to Calvary, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. This blood he has saved me with his power, he has raised me to God. To our God be the glory for the things he has done for. he hath done. Amen. You don't get much better than that. No. Amen. To God be the glory. Can you describe him any other way than indescribably great? It, 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 think of him as a shepherd. He's a great shepherd. Think of him as a judge. He's a great judge. Yeah. As a lawgiver, he's a great lawgiver. As a creator, he's a great creator. As the king of heaven, he's a great king of heaven. As a savior of the world, he's a great savior of the world. As the, as the spirit of God is, he's the great spirit of God. There is no way to describe him outside of just saying he's He's great and he's doing, I remember uh, it, it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. And I thank God for that. And I found out what just fell behind me <laughs> and uh, it could have been worse, but amen. Praise the Lord. You know that so that, much for being that, spiritual that, for a moment there. <laughs> that picture has been, been threatening us with that all week. And just brother AG happened to be the one uh, to take it over the limit there. So. <laughs> Well, anyway, just take, <laughs> I'm, just take it off. Just yeah, take it just off. move that down, Mason. Just go ahead and pull that off the stage and set it over here in the corner. We're gonna stick it in the corner and with its face to the wall for a minute for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that thing has given us trouble. Uh, of course, I like the painting. It shows the tools of a preacher, yes, you know, being sir. shoes and the halls, the cough drops. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, thank God, well enough of that. Let's read some pledge cards and try to bail ourselves out of this. You never know what's going to happen on live radio, and you never know who's going to say what or who's going to do what. And it's the beauty of it. it, it, it it's Keeps the beauty it or, the, or the ugly of it, one of the two. And chaos. it is exciting. There you go. It's Controlled a, chaos. Controlled chaos. I told somebody one time at the end of Sherathon, and I said it's like carrying five gallons of water without a bucket. Yeah. Just trying to hold the hold everything together long yep. enough to get to 10 o'clock Saturday night <laughs> yeah. and then go to bed. And hopefully you'll have all the money you need. One of my favorite, one of my favorite explanations, Doctor Aiken. I, I think it was, uh, uh, it was either Doctor Garrett or Doctor uh -huh. Aiken. One that said the Sherathon is a is a, is a Bible conference slash revival. Yeah. Slash Jubilee <laughs> slash circus. <laughs> right. Mays Jackson said that years ago, and uh, and and I think I honestly think everybody's tried to huh. Uh, no. Will you do one more? I need you to do one more because I don't. Am I seeing? There they are over there. Yeah, to get, do one more. Maze Jackson said something similar to that, and then Dr. Garrett said exactly what you said. And I thought, you know what, it is a big mesh of all of that, and it's a and it's a time of fellowship too. Absolutely. We can see people. I don't see you 51 right. weeks out of the year. Right. But we've done this together for 20 years. Yes, I mean, sir. off and on, and I thank God for that. Amen. You started off the quartet was singing during Sherathon. Yes, sir. And I was just running errands, doing little stuff. And the Lord's brought us along, and I Amen. thank God for that. Three pledge cards and then one more song from the AG family. We appreciate Brad Moody of Taylor's taking March the 13th, $400 sponsorship. In honor of his mom, Toby Moody, and his wife, Alicia Moody, and all godly mothers. Amen to that. Thank Amen. you so much to Mr. Moody. Amen. I love this one as well. Miss Martha Godfrey of Greer, South Carolina, taking November the 8th. 
in honor of my eldest son, Billy Morris, who got saved on October the 2nd after 30 plus years of prayer. Amen. Wow. God answers prayer. Oh, yeah. Thank you so Amen much to that. Martha Godfrey yes, for sir. taking November the 8th. To God be the glory. We got Toby Simmons from Easley, South Carolina, taking March 16th, and he's doing it in honor of Cassie Brazil. Thank you so much for taking March 16th, Mr. Simmons. Now, we'll have some updated figures for you after the top of the hour. You're listening to WTBI 91.5 FM in Greenville, South Carolina, and on the World Wide Web at WTBI.org. One more song by the AG family, and then we're going to do some trade out here. 295-2145. Spillers, you are tempest tossed. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name. Every doubt will fly And you will be singing as the days go by Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your many blessings, see what God has done We're doing, we're doing good today. Y'all are done. Bye. See you in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's kind of hard to. Anyway, we have got. Uh, we only need ten thousand. Hey, Doctor Dean, we only need ten thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, so that is a grand total. We've got three hours to twenty-seven days. Amen. Is all we need. That's it. Nine days an hour or more. <laughs> And uh, we really need the Lord to take care of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? I have this on my mind. I can't just skip over this. Brother A.G., will you pray for us before Amen. you walk off? Will you? Uh, you can either grant he can swap you to that or you can come up here. I want you, We're going we're gonna to take a moment in the auditorium and pray for this last $10,000. And uh, Brother A.G., I believe it would be the Lord's will if you'd pray for us. Amen. Brother. Father, we come before you and we thank you, Lord, for what we've experienced here today, what's been going on all week. We thank you, Lord, that John 3.16 is true and that you do love the world and that you gave your son. Thank you that you let us be a part, Lord, in communication, Lord, in, in spreading that gospel around the world. And thank you for uh, the gospel being spread from this place where we're standing today. Lord, you said that you know our needs before we even ask. And, Lord, we know that you do, but you said you have not because you ask not. Lord, we ask today in the perfect will of God ask, Lord, for the remaining $10,000 plus, Lord, that needs to come in. God, believe in you that today you'll send that money in, God, to help us meet our budget here to continue to spread the gospel around the world. Father, we thank you that we can trust you and we can call upon you, we can ask you, and that you do hear and answer prayer. 
Thank you for your people, Lord. There are people out there listening to us right now that, Lord, we don't even know their name and uh, we don't even uh, know, know their heart, but you know all about that, Lord. And God, you know where they're at right now and what need they have and, Lord, how that they want to give to your ministry and to your work. God, I just pray that you touch them and meet them and meet their every need. God, that you bless the furtherance, Lord, of this ministry. May it always be found faithful. May it always be uh, built upon the truth. God, may it always be that that would bring honor and glory to your sweet name. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Chisholm, we have a we have a day here, and this is this uh, precious listener came by this morning and said, uh, I'd like to sponsor a day, but I can't, but I can give $50. And she had it on her heart to give a day in honor of someone who prayed for me. So she gave that $50 and challenged seven others to give 50. Right. And right now we have $100 that came in from one and $100 that came in from another one. And so all we lack on, on sponsoring May the 19th is $150. Yes, sir. And that'll be a sponsorship in honor of someone who prayed for me. And so if you'd like to jump in on this and maybe you can't give the 400, but you can give 150 or 50 to go toward this, then uh, that would be a great blessing. Just call 295-2145, ask to speak to Mrs. Hawthorne, and uh, she'll be glad to um, to put you in the, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, here we go. She just texted me, that pledge has been met for May the 19th. Amen. Amen. So Wonderful. the Lord took care of that, amen. So you read the pledge card, May the 19th. <laughs> In honor of, in and honor then of someone who prayed for Amen. me. Amen. There you Amen. go. Well, that's official. May the 19th is, is done, and the month of May is closed out. Yeah, look at that. And we are getting close. All right, brother, yes, you go ahead. All right. For today, Friday, November the 10th, our share day partner for today is Clarence Mosley of Simpsonville, South Carolina, and he sponsors in honor of the U.S. Marine Corps' birthday, which was November 10th, 1775. Mr. Mosley quit high school and joined the Marines in 1954. At the age of 17, he served for five and a half years his time in the marines helped shape his early life and he is grateful and our wtbi internet partner for today is sherry harris of liberty south carolina she is wishing all the servicemen and women a happy veterans day and says thank you for your service and we do thank them for their service and our Sherathon partners do help cover the listeners portions of operating expenses for wtbi radio and we thank all of you for your help with Sherathon 2023 Amen. Thank you so very much to those who helped us last year. And thank thank you to the people of God who are standing with us this year in share 2024. As Brother Coach has been pointing out and encouraging and challenging, we need we need some Gideons to, get, to come along with us and stand with us here at All Christian Radio. Just 27 days That's left. It. 27 will take care of the regular budget. We'll be done with the operating expenses. 27 pledge cards, and it's done. It's over. Amen. And tomorrow we will come in here and raise the funds for that production studio. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, it's going to be something. Yes, It'll sir. It'll be nice. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's the way the people of God ought to function. That's exactly right. Uh, God had uh, very he, – he cut no corners when he put up the tabernacle or when he built the temple. He cut no corners. That's right. And uh, when we do things around here, we do them right. That's right. And uh, I thank God for that. Now, at the same time, frugality and doing it right have a perfect mixture here. And uh, they'll do it in in whatever way can be done the least expensive with the greatest greatest outreach possible. And it's working. Did you hear the number 50 countries in a week that we've had on with us? Yes. Yes, sir. Now... I don't know of anybody, and I'm I'm saying this third party. Okay, I'm not in house here. I'm I don't know of a place that could testify to that right now anywhere that could say we've had 50 countries listen to gospel music and preaching in seven days. There's, I don't know where that number it could be copied anywhere. There's no way possible I could visit 50, like no 50 way, countries no, no in way. a week. No way, no way. It's not. I mean, I don't know that anybody could. Yeah, it's not feasible. So, uh, wow, how about that? We're on the little end of something big, ain't Amen. we? Amen. All right, Sister Shields, are you ready? We got a, you know, okay, she's ready. The number's 295-2145, and we are honored and privileged to have the Rogers family with us. Amen. And uh, they're going to strike up a chord and let it rip for a little while. 295-2145.
the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but Just try to measure east to west or to the ocean's lowest depths. You'll find no record of my past. You'll Thank God for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a blessing to be in the chapel this afternoon and to feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank God for sweet liberty at Sherathon 2024. It's not just a time of giving. Uh, it's a time of investing. It's a time of worship. Amen. It's a time of God moving and God stirring. You know, uh, usually when God's people are giving liberally, uh, God's presence does show up. I believe Amen. that. I'm reminded of the count in John 12 when Mary took that very precious ointment and anointed the feet of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said the odor of the ointment 
filled the house amen and of course that was a great sacrifice oh, yeah. that was a great cost yes. amen a year's wage yes and uh, she she reserved that for that particular moment amen, amen. To God be the glory. And it worked out both for her benefit and for his and for everybody else around. That's right. And uh, what a great thing that is. And I believe, I mean, you know that when you talk about the smell of God, when he smells, mm -hmm. and the only evidence of anything in the Bible we have of him smelling anything is smelling the offering. That's right. That's it. He smells that offering that was offered to him, that it's, a, uh, that it's in his nostrils. He smells sweet that. Sweet savor. Yeah. As a sweet savor. And um, I preached, when I preached faith promise giving for a decade, and I would tell the, those churches that when you give an offering, and this sounds, you know, like what? When you give an offering, God, that's an aroma to God. That's exactly right. That's a smell to God. And every time a pledge card comes across this desk, God knows that you have given. And um, then there's the whole aspect of give and it shall be given unto you. Not when it's given unto you or if it's given unto you or after it's given unto you. We're to give first because he put breath in our lungs and blood in our veins Amen. and he put the electric uh, pulses in our mind for our brain to work he's already given to us way beyond anything we could ever pay back in return the Amen. least that we can do yeah. is is put something invest put an investment into his work and uh, I, I'm, th I'm so thankful we have this privilege now the Lord has graciously provided for all of the internet it has been taken care of as a matter of fact I think that let's see here I'm going to look at this. Yeah, we, we've gotten $73,200, completely filled up the Internet, 366 days. That's taken care of. We now need uh, just $12,400, uh, according to these numbers. And uh, we're going to be reading some more pledge cards here in just a few minutes. Uh, that will show us, uh, that will catch us up, only needing $10,800 altogether to take care of the broadcast year next year. And so please... Consider how that you can get involved. Consider how that you can be a part of this great ministry. More music by the Rogers family. They're going to do another two back-to-back -back for us. And the number is 295-2145-864-295-2145. Joy bells are ringing in my happy soul today. Shout that bid me welcome there. Hallelujah, I'm going home. Jewels rich and rare. Soon I shall hear the shout that bid me welcome there. Hallelujah, I'm going home.
Couple of pledge cards we got to reread here. Here's one from Marsha Knoll of Greenville, South Carolina, and this is a day sponsorship for May the 21st in honor of her parents, Scott and Scotty Amen. Dean, Amen. for all they do for her and Isabella. And uh, we appreciate this uh, this gift. And also, here is the uh, we're going to reread the uh, May 19th pledge, the challenge, the $50 challenge. And uh, so we got names here: Veronica Dorsey, Jim Wilson. Mike Howard, Vicki Bagwell, and an anonymous giver. And they take May the 19th sponsoring this day in honor of the someone who prayed for me. Amen. And so we appreciate these these givers. We are down to only needing 24 days. Hallelujah. To have the uh, year closed out. And uh, we have two hours and 32 and a half minutes. And so um, I believe the Lord's going to take care of that. Absolutely. Okay? I do as well. Yeah. I believe God's going to help us uh, reach that goal before service tonight, but we need for God's people to stand with us, get on the phones, give us a call. You know the number. We've given it out a thousand and one times. Amen. Mm. <laughs> and we're saying it in our sleep and uh, and uh, in the shower and as we're uh, as we're driving down the road. I mean, we're just, uh, we we have so said that number that uh, it's a, it's ingrained in our lives i think the pastor was saying when he was in uh overseas that that was that was the combination <laughs> that was wonderful that was absolutely wonderful when he said that i thought you know what that's great right there that's great and uh a six four two nine five two one four five and it's hanging on the wall uh it's in front of us on the table 
and uh, it's permanently etched in my soul. That's right. That's right. And uh, it's just that way. And there I'm, we go. I'm there's there's it. there's a caller. We that's need it. another one. You know, and I just throwing it out there. Um, Pastor Dean mentioned that the Lord shared with him the Spirit of God led him to believe that some businesses would get involved today, and I believe that. Yes, sir. Um, it's not unheard of for a businessman to call and say, "This let my business take care of the rest of that for you." Yeah. Uh, that's happened before. Sure. And uh, and we just read the pledge cards and worship the Lord the rest of the evening. Amen. That'd be great. And uh, he's able to do that. So 24 days is all we like, $400 a day. And uh, I believe the Lord will provide. As Brother Dean says often, I can't help but think that 24 of our friends could yes. pick up the phone at this yes. time and give yes. us a call. Yes. Uh, or, as it's already been mentioned just, just then, one businessman uh, could maybe take half of that or take a good portion of that. Uh, just say, I want to take a week's worth of programming and, uh, and let, let the community know that I stand with All Christian Radio WTBI. Son, you have kept the stairs hot today. I appreciate that. I've, sure run, I've run him up run and down those down stairs, down. and uh, that's a big deal. I told him I didn't want one cold pledge card in my hand. Yes. I want them all hot. So go ahead, brother. Thank you, Rex Ashley of Donald's, South Carolina. Good to hear from Donald's. And they're taking November the 24th. Thankful for my wife, Debbie, of 43 years. We love the praying, praising, and preaching Amen. on WTBI. Amen. Rex also takes November the 14th. And this is again from Donald, South Carolina, in honor and memory of all the veterans, both active and inactive. Amen to that. Thank you so much for these two day sponsorships. That puts us ever so closely to reaching that goal. And again, we need to hear from you this afternoon. We'd love to get this taken care of, the regular yes. budget taken care of before service time tonight. And certainly, we believe we will. God's people will stand with us this afternoon, 4.30 here on Friday. And we need to hear from you, 295-2145. As we hear from the Rogers family, 295-2145. Slip away most any day to heaven's shore. I'll find sweet rest beyond the gaze forevermore. Yes, I'll rejoice, I'll praise the Lord some sweet day. Oh, world. 
before the throne. What a singing man will be when I get home. Sister Shields, if you'll just keep playing for just a minute, just keep playing for just a minute. There's a city, there's a city that's 1,500 miles long. That's right. 1,500 miles wide and 1,500 miles high. Yeah. It's a 1,500 mile cube. Yeah. That's as big as the moon. And, uh, <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. I've never been there yet. Yeah. But I imagine with Jesus leading the way. Amen. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Yeah. Even be lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. And that gate opens up, Brother A.G. I have a very vivid imagination. I imagine with our bare feet, for the first time, step on a street of gold. And we're walking down Main Street in the oh, yeah. New Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. Headed toward one place, and that's the throne of God Amen. to worship. But Isaiah 66, the Bible says we will pass the abhorring of the flesh. All of those that are gone, they're gone. All that's gone. All that death and hell is cast in the lake of fire. The beast and the false prophet's gone. Amen. All the temptation's gone. Sin's gone. Hell's Amen. gone. It's all gone. Yep. When we put our feet on that street of gold, Amen. and we're walking down that one street, yeah. and over that street is one tree that every time we go up there, there's a different manner of fruit on it. Every month there's a different kind of fruit. And there's one river flowing from the throne going down that street. And look at the river, see that fruit hanging there. Grab a piece of that fruit, get the sweetness of heaven, and walk into that room. And I, I, don't, I don't have it all figured out. That's all we know about it. But I can't imagine that we get to get together yeah. and sing a few songs yes, to the one that gave it all amen. Amen. so that we could go there. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, we didn't have to go to hell. Yeah. Don't have to go to the lake yeah. of fire. Don't have to die and lay in a wooden box in the ground for a hundred thousand years. No, no, no. Living for all of eternity in the greatest city that's ever been in the city of God. Yeah. You talking about a singing. Yes, yes, sir. You better believe there's going to be some singing when we get home. And I just, they, I knew when she's playing the introduction of this song what they's fixing to sing. And they're talking about my home, Brother Watts. We're going there. As real as the table that I'm poking on right now. That's the place we're going to go. And I can't wait to get there. Sing a little bit more of that, folks, please. What, what, a, what a singing. Amen. Since I heard about a better home, I would leave this old world with all it on. Just slip away most any day to heaven's shore.
What a meeting. Amen. That sounds like home to me. Amen. 
Amen. Can you imagine when all of that crowd, when all the redeemed finally get home? Amen. Mm. The number of them, the Bible said, was thousands times ten thousands oh, yeah. and thousands of thousands. Man. And when that crowd begins to cry, worthy, worthy is, is the, the lamb. lamb. Amen. And those <laughs> creatures, those four creatures that have those six oh, yeah. wings. Absolutely. Amen. As they cry, oh, holy, yeah. holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was mm. and is and is to come, and the redeemed echo back, mm. worthy, 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 <laughs> amen. The creatures echo back, holy, My holy, soul. holy. Mm. The redeemed echo back, worthy, mm. worthy, worthy, <laughs> amen. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a glorious day uh, that will be. I'm just God determined that glory. folks that aren't looking forward to heaven just don't know nothing about it. <laughs> That's amen. right. Because I cannot, I mean, I'm ready. I mean, amen. The Lord could come, get us out of here, and I'm thrilled with that. Yeah. No amen. problem. Amen. Surely, Lord Jesus, come quickly. I know why he said it. Yes, Surely, sir. Lord Jesus, come quickly. Amen. Amen. Well, thank the Go Lord. For it. We have some pledge cards to read this afternoon. We're thankful God's people are standing with us, and we appreciate you so very much. Amen. First one coming in, we got Mary Jane Watson from Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, taking November the 20th, and she is doing it in honor of my father, Claude Belcher, for his service in the Air Force for over 20 years. Thank you so much, Miss Watson, for taking November the 20th. Amen. Those are dear folks in our church. I appreciate Brother Claude Belcher, faithful, faithful servant of the Lord. Amen. Daryl Sims of Union Mills, North Carolina, taken April the 21st in honor of Welcome Home Baptist Church. And we appreciate this paid gift from Daryl Sims. And thank you to the Agee family. Not only are they singing, but they are participating in share as well. The Agee family, Pikeville, Tennessee, taking July the 19th, and they're thankful for the Tabernacle Children's Home. Amen. 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 We also have got a one-time gift here, also from Daryl Sims of Union Mills. This is a $200 paid gift. And... This is for the production studio, for the sound project. So thank you so thank much you. for this gift. And we thank Daryl Sims, also from Union Mills, North Carolina, taking June the 3rd in honor of Pastor Joshua and Miss Carolyn Calvert of Welcome Home Baptist Church, taking us to a brand new total to God Amen. be the glory, $136,000. Hey man, the number's 295-2145. Are we caught up? I believe we are, yes, sir. We're at 136, so we need 26 days to uh, to finish out the 2024 share 26 days. And uh, that's it. That's all we got left. And we know the Lord can do that in the next two hours and 13 and a half minutes. And we want to close this thing out by the end of the day. And uh, we're caught, we've been calling on some business people today, some businessmen that are willing to call in multiple days. And that's not just an investment, right? but you could, you'll could you also have your business information read during that day. Uh, several times throughout the day, they'll read your business information, just like reading a business card, and they can give the hours of your operation, they can give uh, your phone number, they can give uh, your website, uh, the business name, and we, Honestly, we want to do that with Christian businesses. We want to do that. Or maybe you're a church that um, you're, pa you're, you're a pastor, you're, you're a deacon at a church, and uh, you'd love to have a couple of days with your church information there to get the name out. And sure. I know uh, folks are, are, um, are interested in, in getting their information out. That's a great way to do it, to sponsor the radio station. And so uh, prayerfully consider that. Amen. Would you stand with us this afternoon? Good to hear the phones ringing, 295-2145. Again, 295-2145, down to about uh, 24 days or so left on the uh, on the regular budget. And we'll be done, to God be the glory, raising the operating expenses for uh, this coming year. And we'll work on those one-time gifts. We're so appreciative of God's people standing with us. It's been a tremendous day, Amen. a tremendous day, to God Amen. be the glory. And again, we can't thank you enough for 
for standing with us here at All Christian Radio. Uh, but if we are to meet, the, if we are to meet this before service time tonight, we need to get the phones to ringing. Amen. That's right. That's right. And we need to hear from you. Would you stand with us, our church uh, friends, and then business friends, and our uh, listening, faithful listening uh, listeners? Would you please give us a call two nine five two one four five? And we appreciate so much the opportunity to have live singing here in the chapel here at Tabernacle Baptist Church, the Shields Rogers family singing for us. And uh, we, we appreciate the presence of God filling the tabernacle, amen, and uh, the glory of God. Uh, such, such a sweet time to be in His presence, amen. We're thankful for God meeting with us uh, this afternoon. Tremendous preaching from the Word of God. Looking forward to the service tonight, the Mount Sinai Baptist Church Choir. Mm. You don't want to miss that. Won't you no. go ahead and plan to be a part of the service tonight? Some, uh, some are just getting off work. And as you head home, get cleaned up and come on to the chapel yes, tonight. Amen. 7 o'clock here, 3931 Whitehorse Road. The Mount Sinai Baptist Church Choir singing. And our dear friend, uh, Pastor Rudy Smith, will be preaching the Word of God this evening it's in the good. evening service. It's I, I, the, the first time he preached in a share here that I can remember. He's talking about that mercy seat. Mm. He said the priest would go back there. He got in a big way. You know how he does He'd said he'd sprinkle the blood on the mercy seat. And then he said, and then he'd let the blood do the talking. Hallelujah. When he said that, I, the spirit of God filled this place. Amen. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened. Amen. He let the blood yes, do the talking. Sir. Amen. And I thank God for that. That number is 295-2145. You don't want to miss Pastor Rudy Smith no, tonight. No, sir. Or the good folks at uh, Mount Sinai Baptist Church. Are we ready? Yes or no? Instrumental. Gonna, oh, praise God. Going to do an instrumental. And this is from the Shields family, Sister Kim Shields. And he's got his electric guitar over there. Looking forward to hearing Samuel play that. Is that a Fender? That's a Fender on the Fender Electric. All right, he's going to do a good job for us. 295-2145. Live music here in the chapel, Tabernacle Baptist Church, the Rogers Shield family with us. We're so thankful for what God's doing this afternoon. It's an exciting time, and we're glad to be a part of it. Glad to have you along with us here, share 2024, and eight minutes now to the top of the hour of five o'clock, and we are so grateful for what God's doing here, share 2024, and Cal, you start us out. All right. Well, we got uh, Stephanie Wilson from Pelzer, South Carolina, doing a one-time $20 pledge. And she's doing it in memory of her grandfather, Ed, Edward Dietrich. 
and in honor of her parents, Jeannie and Jim Wilson. And this takes us to a new total of 8740 with the one-time pledge, but we also got a new total with the uh, day partner, so we'll wait to do the theme song until after we read that. All right, thank you, Tracy Grove Baptist Church of Flat Rock, North Carolina. And they're taking March the 14th. And their pastor, Pastor James Mebin, sponsors in honor of pastor's wife, Jennifer Mebin. And uh, again, I trust that uh, I'm pronouncing that correctly. If if uh, need to correct that, please let us know. Again, we thank the Tracy Grove Baptist Church, Flat Rock, North Carolina, taking March the 14th. Their pastor, James Mabin, and they sponsor in honor of pastor's wife, Jennifer Mabin. Thank you so much to the Tracy Grove Baptist Church taking March the 14th, and that takes us to a brand new total, $138,000 to God be the glory. We down to, we're down to 21 days. Amen. Worship the Lord with us. All right, we need 21 folks to get on the on the phone at this time. Give us a call. Take these last 21 days off the board. And again, the number is 864-295-2145. 21 days left. That's at $400 on the regular uh, budget. And again, uh, you don't have to pay all of that up front. You can divide it into monthly installments and uh, come by and see us here and pay it all in person if you'd like. Uh, ever how the Lord lays it upon your heart. Certainly, we would love to, uh, we'd love to chat with you, fellowship with you. Uh, if you'd like to come by and visit with us here at Sherathon, and of course we'd love we'd love to meet you. We do have a, a song request uh, for the Rogers family uh, to let's see to count for Jesus. Okay. All right, and uh, that uh, should take us up to the top of the hour. Again, we appreciate the Rogers family along with us this afternoon. The A.G. family will be back here in just a moment, and then the Rogers family back. They'll transition back and forth until service time tonight. Again, we want to encourage you, come and be a part of the services this evening here in the chapel, Tabernacle Amen. Baptist Church. Again, 295-2145, 21 days left. 21 days left at $400 for the regular budget. Would you please give us a call? Stand with us. 295-2145. All want their lives to count for something, to leave their mark when life is through. But vain pursuits will come to nothing. Time will erase whatever we do. I want my life to count for Jesus. I only seek eternal gain. Within my heart there burned a question. What was I? Sweet. 
tis I only seek eternal gain and I want my life to count for Jesus for earthly things will quickly fade no to add to worldly riches I only seek eternal gain Amen. Beautiful, beautiful song, beautiful message, melody. We're thankful uh, for the Rogers family and that's really what it's about, folk. Amen. So many times we live for the temporal, and we keep our eyes and our focus and our attention on the temporal. But uh, Paul said, while we look not on the things which are temporal, uh, but on those things which are eternal. Amen. And that's, that's what our lives should uh, be focused on. That's what we should live for, eternal yes, things. Amen. And uh, thank God the work, of the, the work of the Lord, the gospel ministry, is eternal works. Amen. Right. How does that one saying go... Uh, only one life will, t will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will, will last. last. That's right. Amen. Amen. We appreciate Good so reminder. many of God's people standing with us. Here we are at the hour of 5 o'clock. And uh, you are listening to WTBI-FM Greenville 91.5. And then World Wide Web, WTBI.org. We do want to thank our share day partner for today, this November the 10th. 2023. It's Clarence Mosley of Simpsonville, South Carolina. He sponsors in honor of the U.S. Marine Corps uh, and their birthday, November the 10th, 1775. Mr. Mosley quit school and joined the Marines in 1954 at the age of 17. He served for five and a half years, and his time in the Marines helped shape his early life, and he is very grateful. And our WTBI internet partner for today is Sherry Harris of Liberty, South Carolina. She's wishing all of the servicemen and women happy Veterans Day and says thank you for your service. And our share partners help cover the listener's portion of operating expenses for WTBI Radio. We thank all of you for your help with share 2023. And certainly we say again a big thank you to those who are standing with us this year, share 2024. And we just got another, uh, we just got a card come in with a one-time partner from... Michelle, Jacob, and Starla Center out Amen. of Easley, South Carolina. And they do it in honor of their pastor, Jeremy and Maria Chisholm Amen. of the Good Bethany Baptist Church in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. They did a 151-time pledge. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Center family and a precious family, godly family, loves the Lord, so very faithful. And, of course, uh, uh, Miss Michelle uh, is, uh, is a widow. Uh, her husband, uh, Brother Robbie Center, went home to be with the Lord and uh, was a faithful faithful preacher, faithful Amen. man of God, and we appreciate the sinners, and I thank you so much for honoring uh, me and my wife and the church, and we have so appreciate the sinner family. Yes, sir. Amen. We'd love to hear from you again this afternoon, down to 21 days. 21 days left on the regular budget. That's $400, and uh, certainly uh, we'd love to get this taken care of before service tonight, 7 o'clock. Here in the chapel, WTBI share going on all week, and uh, we've had a fine week of preaching and singing, and uh, the Rogers family transitioned off of the pulpit area now. We are transitioning back to the AG family, mm -hmm. and we're going to have some more good music here in just a moment, but we need to hear from you. Uh, as, uh, as you're heading home, we're in drive time at this time. We know many folks are getting off work, and you're heading home possibly getting ready for the service tonight. We'd love to hear from you. Would you please take the time? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you've been waiting all week for Friday to come uh, to call in and sponsor a day. Well, there's only 21 days left. So if you're waiting until now, uh, you need to get it taken care of because these days are going to get gone. We need to hear from you this afternoon. 864-295-2145 is the number to call. Again, 864 295 Two one four five. Would you stand with us here at WTBI Sherathon 2024 as we enjoy the AG family? Let's worship the Lord as they sing. 
Again, would you pray and seek the Lord at what He'd have you to do uh, as far as these 21 days are uh, concerned? Again, give us a call, 295-2145, as the AG family sings. like the name of Jesus. I mentioned my spiritual birthday earlier, June the 4th, 1972. I got acquainted through, through a spiritual birth, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. I can truly say today that Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. You've been my life for so long You were right when I was wrong I can't repay all the love you've given me You've been my friend when no one cared I was alone But you were there, Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened to me
treasures, borrowed dreams, all life's joys you've given me. When troubles come, you're always there to make me smile. Let come what may, thy will be done. I love you, Jesus, God's precious Son. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened. Amen. He's wonderful. He, cer he certainly is the best thing that ever happened to me. Amen. To God be the glory. I appreciate the privilege of knowing Him as my personal Lord and Savior. He is my shepherd. Amen. And I shall not want. We appreciate Jim Burns from Greenville, South Carolina, calling in and taking March the 17th in honor of his four children that are faithfully serving the Lord in their churches. And what a testimony to the grace of God. We so appreciate Brother Jim Burns taking March the 17th. And again, we appreciate Brother Jim and his faithfulness as well uh, for many, many years, faithful in music ministry in the churches of upstate South Carolina. And we thank you, Brother Jim, for taking March the 17th, again, in honor of his four children that are faithfully serving the Lord. Amen. I believe that takes us down to just needing 20 days. Uh, on the regular budget, the Internet's taken care of and uh, marching towards completing the regular uh, budget by service time this evening, 7 o'clock. Again, we have 20, around 20 days left. And uh, would you give us a call and stand with us this afternoon? 864-295-2145 is the number to call. Let's get those phones to ringing, 295-2145. We appreciate the AG family and they're going to sing a couple more as you give us a call, 295-2145. 20 days left. There's not a friend like the holy Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. None else can heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. No, not one. No other friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all
Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the holy Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Was there a gift like our Savior given? No, not one. No, not one. Will he refuse us a home in heaven? He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Well, you won't ever find a friend like Jesus. Everybody's looking for somebody to fix their problems. In America, we're looking for somebody to fix our problems. We're hoping maybe that person might be at the White House. But there's problems on all levels. and People are trying to find somebody to fix their problems. But Jesus said in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and him with me. I submit to you today that if we let Jesus in the door, it would fix all of our problems, not just in our country, but in our homes and our personal lives. Because man, human help can only go so far. Man can only help you so much. But when you get to the end of that, here's a song that says, Jesus can. Let's if I could, I would take away trouble weighing heavy on your mind and in your life and if I could I would wipe away the sorrow that you feel deep down inside and make them mine but there's only a friend indeed can help you through along the way. Oh, but I'm glad to say I know the one who will be there to help you with. Restore your soul with sweeter water from a better land. But I'm sure that in my strongest hour, I still cannot possess the power to bring you through the raging fire. You must withstand.
Jesus can. Amen. You mark it down, friend. We serve a God who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we Amen. ask or think. Amen. Amen. According to the power that worketh within us. 20 minutes past the hour, 5 o'clock. You're listening to share 2024. We're down to 20 days left on the operating budget here for All Christian Radio. And we have 20 quarts of stew left available, and they're $10 a quart, if I remember correctly. Uh, 20 quarts left, so uh, possibly you might want to come mm, by tonight mm. and uh, get it while it's here. First come, first ser- serve, 20 quarts. 20 quarts left at $10 a quart. And uh, maybe as you come a little early to the service, go ahead and get you a quart of that stew, and that's also making a contribution to WTBI. Mm, well, I, I had me a quart of that stew today and uh, with some cornbread in it, and I... I, I just about well, it's, I would say I ate it, but I more like inhaled the you know <laughs> uh, a quart of that stew. But the, since we've got so much uh, blessed, I I would buy some of it myself. But ten dollars a quart that's expensive, brother. But uh, it's going for a good cause, brother Watts. That's right. <laughs> but what what we got we've got to realize, okay, with those that stew, you're not paying for the cost of the stew. That's not. Well, that's it exactly right. It's one hundred percent going to to the WTBI radio. It's ministry. a contribution right. to the radio, and so we, when we say when we say sell, we turn that we use that term loo- loosely, but we really don't sell anything here at WTBI. We that's don't sell right. airtime. We don't we don't sell stew. It's you give a donation, and then we give you know we give or you give a donation, whichever it is. You know, it's one one can come first or the other can come first. It doesn't matter, but. Um, but we don't sell anything, and uh, like any ministry, this this ministry depends upon the gifts of God's people and most of all the, the Lord's blessings. Amen. 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 Again, down to twenty days, and we're going to get an updated list here in just a moment of of what days are available. Just twenty days left. We'll read to you some of those dates that are available, so that uh, maybe a a date that resonates with you. It's a special occasion in uh, your life or in your family. Uh, maybe the date of a, of, a, uh, of a dear saint of God that's precious to you. Maybe your pastor or pastor's wife or your anniversary. We'll read some of those in just a moment. Again, down to 20 days. We need to hear from you. Would you help us finish this out by service time tonight, 7 o'clock? We need to hear from you. 295-2145 is a number to call. And again, all the days on the Internet are taken care of. And we are down to 20 days left on the regular budget. That's for $400 a day. You can sponsor a day in memory or in honor of whomever or whatever you would like to choose by calling 864-295-2145. Let's get these 20 days taken care of Mm -hmm. before service tonight. We need to hear from you. Let's Let's... get the phones ringing. Again, 864-295-2145. Maybe a Christian businessman, uh, you could call and take five. Uh, Maybe some churches that are listening. Uh, We've heard from many of our dear friends uh, as far as the local churches are concerned uh, already this week. 
uh, maybe a local church would like to call and take five days. And uh, certainly, uh, we encourage you to call in and, uh, and take these days off the board, down to 20 days left for the regular budget. In March, we mm-hmm. have two days, the 19th and the 23rd. In April, two days, the 7th and the 20th. In June, we have seven days left, June the 1st, June the 11th, June the 12th, 14th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. In July, we have the 15th, 26th, and 27th. November, we have one day available, November the 22nd. In December, we have four days left, December the 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 28th. -hmm. All right, so we need to hear from you. Uh, 864-295-2145 as the Agee family comes to sing. Fall from your eyes Well, don't be discouraged My friend, take courage The answer is Jesus Christ Cause He is the hope for the hopeless The water, the giver
told Lying helpless Suffering loss But not hopeless I am David Crying mercy Lord On me And I am Elijah In a cave I am dreading the light of day I am Daniel Humbly bowed Faithfully I am Paul in a prison Lifting from the stranger I am safe from the danger that would try to do me great harm oh and I am wrapped up and I'm warm in the love of my and I'm resting while I lean on his arm. And so I'll 
Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Lord Amen. told Moses, there is a place by me. Amen. Mm, yeah. <laughs> in the cleft of the rock. Yes. Bless the Lord. He hideth my soul in oh, the cleft yes. of the rock. Amen. Appreciate the Agee family doing some fine singing this evening. Amen. And uh, we're at 138, 138,000 plus on the regular budget down to 19 days. Uh, 19 days. Uh, on the regular budget. Again, let me give you some of these. Maybe it'll resonate with you. A special occasion or close to a special date in your life. March the 19th and 23rd. Surely someone out there has a special occasion in your life for March the 19th or 23rd or close to it. April the 7th or 20th. June 1st, 11th, 12th, 14th, 17th, 18th or 19th. July 15th, 26th or 27th. November the 22nd, only one day left in November. November the 22nd. That's mm -hmm. close enough to Thanksgiving to just uh, to uh, uh, honor the Lord Jesus for, and be thankful. Yes. Amen. And then December the 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 28th. We need to hear from you. Let's get these taken care of by service time tonight. 7 o'clock, right. we'll enjoy the sounds from Sinai, amen. The mm -hmm. Mount Sinai Baptist Church Choir will be here. <laughs> amen. And uh, they'll fill up the choir loft. And uh, Brother Rudy Smith will be preaching the Word of God this evening, 7 o'clock. Again, the AG right. family here tonight, the Tolbert family, and uh, Brother Jim Crutchfield. That's right. And uh, don't worry, Brother Rudy Smith, he will not cut the message short. So you don't have to worry <laughs> about, uh, you know, us letting, letting out too soon or anything like that. He'll make sure you get, get your, your money's, your money's worth. worth. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's amen. right. It's my kind of preacher. We appreciate God's man, Brother <laughs> yes, Rudy. Yes, we do. And, of course, uh, mm -hmm. I've been a longtime broadcaster here uh -huh. on WTBI three times a day. That's right. I think at, what, 1215 and then 745 and then also at 315. 3, 3, mm -hmm. Amen. Sounds from Sinai Radio broadcast, 830 Country Club. Club. Country Club Road, Pickens, South Carolina. Amen. We appreciate mm -hmm. appreciate Brother Rudy yeah. and his faithfulness. What a dear man of God. And, of course, you won't want to miss the service tonight. Again, 7 o'clock. We're trying to get these days taken care of. Before then, we need to hear from you. Time is quickly uh, approaching that 7 o'clock hour. So yes, we need to is. hear from you. 19 days left. Would you give us a call? 295. It's good to hear the phones ringing as the AG family was singing just a moment ago. Uh, but we need to hear it much more. Yes. We need to yes. hear from you if we're going to get these 19 days mm -hmm. taken care of. 295-2145. Again, 295-2145. March 19th or 23rd, April 7th or April 20th, June the 1st, 11th or 12th, 14th, 17th, 18th or 19th, or July 15th, 26th or 27th, November the 22nd, December 20th, 21st, 22nd or 28th. Call in and get one of those days while they're still available. 864-295-2145 as we enjoy the AG family this evening. You heard me pray. 
Six four two nine five two one four five, and uh, we're so honored to have you listening today. And we're in the right smack in the middle of drive time, and Greenville is wide open mm-hmm. with um, fast moving vehicles yes. and people running to the to the house to get supper on the table and to enjoy the wonderful uh, evening with their family. Why don't you just plan on coming out here? Yeah, right. and uh, we've got live music. We've got the Ag family. We have. Uh, we have the Rogers family. Then in the evening service tonight, uh, special music along with Brother Jim Crutchfield. He's a he's a great uh, singer. It's going to be a good night. Pastor Rudy Smith and the folks at uh, Mount Sinai Baptist mm-hmm. Church. Yes. And uh, what a great night it's going to be. And so the address is 3931 White Horse Road. Maybe you've never been here before. And we'd invite you to come by and be a part of this evening service. Mm-hmm. We would love to have you. Well, yes. thank you so much to folks responding to the need of, wow, praise the Lord, we're getting there. The need of uh, share this year. And we've got an hour and 17 and a half minutes before service time. And uh, we're going to read these three pledge cards. And then we're going to do some math, okay? So here we go. You go first. All right. We got Corey Owens from Easley, South Carolina, taking March the 23rd. And he is doing it in memory of his mother, Sonia Shirley, and his uncle Joey. And in honor of his nana and papa, Gene and Carol Deweese, and his sister, sister, Mackenzie. Thank you so much, Mr. Owens, for taking March the 23rd. Go ahead, Brother Watts. And uh, what date was that for, Brother Cal? March 23rd. March 23rd, okay. I was about to say, now, when Brother Jeremy was reading off the list a minute ago, I noticed one date that was available, June 14th, a very historic day. Uh, that's that's my birthday, so, uh, you know, if somebody wants to sponsor it in my honor, that's fine. But even more importantly, June 14th is Army Day and Flag Day for the United States, so if you're patriotic like I am, that's a good thing to remember. Okay, and yes, it's my birthday, too. So uh, I wasn't born on the 4th of July, but I guess the next best thing to it. All right, well, on with our pledges here. This one is for November 22nd. A $400 pledge, a day sponsorship from Elaine Short of Greenville. And this is in honor of her daughter and son-in-law, Randy and Kimberly Walden, who served in the United States Marine Corps. We appreciate that day sponsorship. That is for November 22nd. Elaine Short, thank you for this day sponsorship. Brother Aaron Trask, a good friend, and he is taking July the 27th, $400, from Hardinsburg, Kentucky. Hello, Kentucky. In thankfulness for God and his mercy and miracles he's seen him perform in his life, and in thankfulness for WTBI and the staff and what they mean to him. Amen to that. We appreciate Brother Trask and this gift taking us over a brand new level, $140,000. You praise God with us as we hear our theme song. All right, we still have one day left in March, two days. And by the way, we've said this all week long. March is Pastor's Wives Appreciation Month. We have one day left, 400 bucks. You have an opportunity to honor your pastor's wife. 
And so call in and you can honor her on that day. Some of you churches, your pastor's wife has, has arranged stuff in the fellowship hall. She's put out flowers. She has made casseroles for people. She, there's things that pastor's wives do that nobody knows about. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to honor her. We have two days left in April. May is out. June, we have seven days. Mm -hmm. July, we have two days. August is out, September's out, October's out, November's out. We just closed it out. And December has, I cannot believe this, Christmas week. Look wow. at this. Look at that. Christmas week still has four days. My. Humbug. Mm. That's humbug. Mm. <laughs> we have got, to, where is our Christmas people? Yeah. Oh, no. You yeah. people that put up Christmas trees in July, <laughs> you need to give money and close this week out. What is wrong? Of Ooh, some Christmas. of you put up your American flags and pull out the Christmas lights. Mm. That's what and I'm that's, saying. Yeah. I'm telling you, you need to call in and take care of this. There's four days left on Christmas week. That, thank you, whoever yeah, you yes. are. I hope you're thank doing you. Christmas week. <laughs> Uh, no pressure. <laughs> if you weren't, I hope you are now. Uh, this is, I can't believe this. Christmas week, it should be gone. Should be. And so the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, and the 28th, all within a week of Christmas. And so that should be taken care of pretty quick. And uh, some somebody needs to call and get all of them and just sponsor it and say, Merry Christmas, just because there's people out there that don't say it. And that way all day they'll be saying Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. won't they, Brother Watts? That's right. Yes. You won't have a problem with that, will you? No, no, you don't at care all. at all. It was just mm -hmm. what, as long as it's took care of, right? That's right. That's from the program director himself. Mm -hmm. That's official. <laughs> Can we call that official? <laughs> yes, sir. That's official. Somebody needs to sponsor a day. Merry Christmas. Hey, I'm. This is embarrassing that we have four <laughs> Christmas week days left. <laughs> Better let the yeah. y'all don't do no Christmas songs, do you? Can you pull they one do? off right now? That's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. drive time. People are listening. Do it. Let's do a Christmas song. And let's try to show, I, they can do anything. They can, these people are amazing. They can sing any genre of Christmas songs that you can imagine. Y'all know Santa uh, Claus is coming to town. Let's not do that one. Okay, no, uh, let's I'm hold sorry. off that on that one, Brother Watts. At the program the, director, would lower what the, are you talking about? It would lower the <laughs> dignity of the occasion. Now, let's not have Absolutely. <laughs> so they're going to do a Christmas. I can't believe they're going to do that. They're going to do it. Praise they the Lord. Amen. We need to practice for Christmas. They're going to practice for Christmas anyway, all right? So this <laughs> is the AG family on WTVI. Merry Christmas, 295-2145, and Happy Thanksgiving. for doing that oh, and we'll yes. close out Christmas week hopefully all right we need 16 days in the next one hour and nine and a half minutes and what's 
difficult about that is that it's hard, Brother Kraut, you know this, to process that many pledge cards in an hour's time. Yep. And so we need you to go ahead and call and be a part of this and let us close out these 16 days, all right? And uh, we're enjoying music by the AG family as you prepare yourself to give. Uh, they're, they're, are they ready? Are y'all ready for another one? All right, 295, <laughs> not yet? Okay, two, yes, okay. Mom says yes. 295-2145 as we hear from the AG family. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both have hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have another song by the AG family. We're trying to read these cards as they come in quickly so that we can um, get get these uh, levels that we're looking for. And so we'll keep reading. And um, we are now in need of 16 days, and we got some pledge cards here. Go. All right, so we got Aaron Trask again from Hardinsburg, Kentucky, taking April the 20th, and he is doing it in thankfulness for Brother Scott Dean, Brother James Simpson, and Brother Jerry Darnell, also in loving memory of Brother Clyde Gravely. He's thankful for the time he got to spend with them on the radio and for the influence they had on his Amen life. Amen that. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Amen. All right, and we have one here. And this is a day sponsorship for March 19th from the Truth Missionary Baptist Church of Greenville. This is in honor of Pastor and Mrs. K for 57 years of service. Amen. $400. Wonderful. That's from the Truth Missionary Baptist Church, March 19th, our day sponsors. And Rehoboth Baptist Church of Piedmont, South Carolina, taking April the 7th. 
This is a $400 pledge. Thank the Lord for all the blessings on our church. Amen to that. And we appreciate this gift as well. We are now down to 13 days. That's less than two weeks. And we still have Christmas week. And uh, so out of all the 13 days, I'm going to hang on to that. 13 days is all we need to close out the year, folks. And we, we started off needing 730 pledge cards. Mm-hmm. And we've got it down to only needing 13. Amen. And the Lord has done that. Oh, it, yeah. the, it is the Lord's doings. And it is marvelous. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Go on. Amen. And uh, we believe he's going to do that. Yes. We'll be back in a moment with some technical radio station stuff we got to do here in a minute. But uh, the AG family is going to... Y'all going to be in the service tonight? Not scheduled to sing. Okay, so but, but um, they're going to sing their last one. Then tomorrow morning, when you get up to eat your Saturday morning eggs and pancakes, turn on 91.5 and listen to the AG family sing. They are kicking off the morning tomorrow and uh, excited that they're going to be here with us. And so that number is 295-2145 as the AG family sings one last song for today. 295-2145. mighty army would take us in bondage again. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Moses cried. Then God parted the waters and they crossed to the other side. Amen. Amen. God sure does deliver, and he's helping us this evening to God be the glory. Six o'clock now, the hour of six o'clock, you're listening to 91.5 FM, Greenville, South Carolina, WTBI, and on the World Wide Web, WTBI.org. We want to thank our share day partner for today. It's Clarence Mosley of Simpsonville, South Carolina. He sponsors in honor of the U.S. Marine Corps birthday, November the 10th, 1775. Mr. Mosley quit school and joined the Marines in 1954 at the age of 17. He served for five and a half years and his time in the Marines helped shape his early life and he is grateful. And our WTBI internet partner for today is Sherry Harris of Liberty, South Carolina. She's wishing all the service men and women a happy Veterans Day and says thank you for your service. Of course, our share partners help cover the listeners' portion of operating expenses for the WTBI Radio Ministries. Thank you to all of you who helped us in share 2023. 
Well, December the 28th is now being sponsored by Truth Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. And our good friends there in honor of 57 years of Truth Missionary Baptist Church. And we appreciate this $400 day sponsorship. Oh, Go for it. Let her right. rip. Sorry. Tater chip. Amen. And thank you to Jonathan <laughs> Swinger. Thank you to Jonathan Swinger. This is our song leader. And uh, Man, Jonathan is so faithful. Amen. Loves sure. the Lord. And it does a tremendous job. We appreciate Brother Jonathan taking December the 20th. And he sponsors in honor of his wife, April, and their four precious children. And Brother Jonathan, that takes us to a brand new total, $142,000. Yeah, to God Hallelujah. be the glory. As we hear our theme song. God is We've got Ryan Alexander here from Pickens, South Carolina, taking July the 26th. And Ryan Alexander, owner of Alexander's Grading and Hauling, sponsors this day in honor of WTBI. Thank you, Mr. Alexander, for taking July the 26th. Amen. That takes us down to one day in July. Wow, it's almost July gone. 15th. Almost. July the 15th. Is that day special to you? Because if it is, you need to take it. And uh, we've got Pastor Chisholm, we've got 58 and a half minutes, and we need 10 days. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We come in here this morning praying, yes, sir. asking the Lord. Brother Scott then got full of the Holy Ghost out there in the parking lot with that ladle in his hand. Started praying, praying heaven down. People started giving. Hey. And uh, all we need is 10 days. And listen, um, this, this studio that we're trying to build, this project that we're working on tomorrow is a need. And I, I am, I'll vouch for that, that it's a need. Mm -hmm. And uh, that room is, the, 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 the structure's there. We just got to get it all put together. Mm -hmm. And so please consider helping us close out this share day sponsorship. We've already closed out the internet sponsorship. Now we need to close out the days. Amen. Brother Scott Dean, if you're listening, I know you're driving. I, I, if you're listening right now, preacher, we only got 10 days left. And... Um, Let's, uh, let's, we got 57 minutes, Pastor Chisholm. Let's pray. Lord, I love you. Thank, thank you for you, what Lord. you've done today. My soul, what a oh, day it's thank been. You. you have laid it upon the hearts of your people to give, and they've obeyed and responded. And I pray right now that you would bless them yes. for their thank investment God. in this radio station. Bless them thank greatly. But then I pray now for these last 10 days. If it's a businessman, Grant it, Lord. if it's a church, if it's whoever it is, I pray this last $4,000 would come in in the next 58 minutes so that we can go into the service tonight in victory. We know you're going to do it. Yes. We're just asking you to do it now. And as uh, Pastor Dean said this morning, we're not asking upon our own lusts. We're not asking uh, amiss. We're asking for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ and for the promotion yes. of the gospel that will get people out of hell and send them to heaven. And we ask that you take care of this need in just the next few moments. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Ten days, Pastor Chisholm, is yes, all we got sir. left. Yes, sir. Good to hear the phone's ringing. Let's get another one behind that one. 295-2145 is the number to call. Just ten days available here for the regular budget of, of, uh, of WTBI Radio Ministry. June the 1st, 11th, and 12th. And uh, let's see, I believe that's the 14th, 17th. 18th and 19th yep. is what we have in okay, June. Okay, let's read that again slower June. one more time. So what, what months are closed? So January is closed. No days. February is closed. No days. March is closed. Zero. April is closed. Nothing. May is closed. Nada. June, we have June the 1st, June the 11th and 12th, June the 14th, June the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Okay. July, there's one day available. July the 15th. Okay. August is closed. September is closed. Zip. October is closed. Zilch. November is closed. Nada. December has December 21st and December 22nd. All right, so Are let's we do correct this. On your that's, that's correct. Yep. 10 days. 
And the number is 295-2145. And uh, I believe the Shields family, let me tell you something. These are some of the finest Christians you'll ever meet. Amen. And I, I believe in promoting the people that we have here to sing. Sure. They're available to sing in your church. The Shields family books out to churches, revival meetings, camp meetings. Do y'all book seven days a week or just Monday through Sunday? They book seven days a week. So if you've got a homecoming or a special service, they're booking out. And we have that information. You can call us and we'll forward their information to you. But I don't know of a finer family, finer group of singers anywhere Amen. than the Shields family. And they'll be a blessing to you. And they're here to sing for us, some of my favorite people in the whole world. And that number's 295-214. Are you ready? We are, but do, you, do we still have Christmas days left? We have how many? 21st and 22nd. 21st and the 22nd. Well, we have a Christmas album almost ready to come out. So is it okay if we do a song? Yes, they're going to do. Yeah, hey, absolutely. man, they're going to do a Christmas song. Hey, man. Hey, Brother Dean does Christmas all year round yeah. in the morning get together. Because <laughs> of how so cold he likes We that. only need two days on Christmas week, and they're going to do a Christmas song. And the, is the album out yet? It will be in a couple of weeks. It'll be out in a couple of weeks. Christmas album available on CD and anywhere else? And USB. And USB. Do y'all have a website? Roger's family use let let her talk for a minute. Let her turn her mic on and cut me off. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say this. If some whoever will sponsor those last two days and then we'll send their address and make sure we get it, we'll send them a copy of the Christmas album. Okay, Amen. wonderful. Um, um uh, Mason, did you hear that? Mason, Mason did you hear her say that? Okay, go tell Miss Hawthorne that, okay? Go let her know that. And uh, so if you call and sponsor a Christmas weekday. You can get uh, one of these albums, one of these CDs when they come out in a few weeks, and that is fantastic. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for doing that. And it's 606, The Rogers Family. Go for it. Look up, fear not, the angel said. Behold, the Messiah's come, the one of whom you've read and asked. They spoke to men that day. The heavenly host around the throne joined in to say, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest, glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. on earth and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. Well, glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. Oh, hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Glory. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. 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 Two nine five two one four five. Pastor Chisholm, it's uh, it's uh, well. I've got Brother Scott Dean calling me right now. I wonder Amen. if he's gonna. Brother Dean, I'm on the radio. Do you want to say something on the microphone? I can. I'm hearing you. Can you hear him? I can hear him in my head. So yeah, go for it. it. Speak loud, Brother Dean. Yes, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out and helped us today. With that stew. We had so much good help. We appreciate that, Brother Darnell. We're so, so precious to uh, make sure the pots were there. And everybody that helped us cut up uh, vegetables or liquor. 
I lost him. He's giving a thank you to everybody that helped out for the stew today. And um, I'm going to call him. I'm going to go. I'm going to jump off of here and go call him and see if we've got any left. All right. Yes, That's sir. probably what he was wanting to say. There, there were there were 20 quarts just a little while ago. Just a few ago. minutes ago. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave it with you. I'm going to jump up and go see what he needed. I'll be back in a little while. All right. It's good to hear the phone's ringing. 295-2145. Ten minutes after the hour of 6 o'clock. We're down to 10 days available. 10 days available on the regular budget. Would you please help us get these 10 days taken care of before service time tonight? And the, the Rogers family have graciously agreed to give a Christmas CD uh, to the caller who takes the next uh, day in December. We have two days available there, December 21st and December 22nd. If you will specify that when you call in mm-hmm. and uh, make sure uh, that whoever takes your information, get your address and we'll get that to the Rogers family and they'll get you that CD again. Would you take those last two days in December, December 21st and December 22nd, one day available in July, seven days available in June, and we'll have this year taken care of. So give us a call. Stand with us here at All Christian Radio, WTBI, 295-2145. Again, 295-2145, 10 days left. Let's get the phones ringing, 295-2145, as the Rogers family sings. Starry night, three wise men came searching, for they saw his light. Much more than a baby, much more than a baby, they found in that place. For the King of all glory took form of man and came to that place. now happy and free light of his wondrous love shineth on me no more i walk in sin's pathway of not glory abides within i've seen the light Even me, making me free, gladly I 
blessing today. I've seen the blessed light. I heard him whisper peace unto my soul. I felt redeeming grace over me roll. And nothing have I to fear while in his sight. I'm fully satisfied. You're listening to WTBI Sherathon and the good music of the Rogers Shields family. To God be the glory. They've told us we're down to three days. Three days left in the month of June. Amen. And we'll have Sherathon 2024 taken care of. To God be the glory. And Cal, start us out there. All right. We have an anonymous one-time giver from Saluda, North Carolina, giving a $200 pledge. And he says, in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for the one-time gift and another anonymous giver taking december the 21st in honor of the lord jesus christ merry christmas they say amen merry christmas amen. hallelujah anonymous gift here june the 11th in honor of the lord jesus christ and these are all coming from the same gracious donor thank you so much then we got billy wilkins from pelzer south carolina taking july the 15th and he sponsors in memory of his father bill Wick wilkins thank you so much for taking July the 15th. And we thank Pastor Robert Cato of Woodruff, South Carolina, taking June the 18th in honor of my wife, Deanna Cato. This takes us to a brand new level of $144,000 to God be the glory. God is All right, did you say somebody notified you there was only three days left? Yes, sir. Okay, so having said that, that's 1200 bucks. And I wonder if there's a businessman out there that's got the last $1,200 a share -a -thon. and uh, and I Or, I mean, you could do that for $100 a month. You'd call and write off those last three days. Sure. And uh, I'm watching the phone. Somebody's going to take care of at least one of those days, maybe all three of them. And let me remind you of that number so uh, you can't tell the Lord that we didn't tell you. That's 864-295-2145. You officially know the number, 295-2145, and we only need three days to take care of. Now, we've got several pledge cards that, are, that will be coming in, um, but uh, there's only three days on the calendar left out of 366. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Internet's closed out. Thank the Lord for that. But uh, if you want to take one or two or all three of these days, you can grab all three of them for a gift of $1,200 to the radio station. And let's go ahead and close out this budget and rejoice in the evening service and come in tomorrow with uh, some, some one-time gifts to Amen. take care of that production facility. All right? And uh, what do you think about that? That sounds wonderful. I'm just going to be done with my little scratch pad here because I've wore it out all day. It's been <laughs> rained on, screamed at, spit on, yelled at, thrown uh, sat on, rolled over, and uh, I'm done. It's been Amen. well worth it, though, brother. Yep. You did a good job, little Office Depot notepad. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work today. Your pages are uh, turned up a little bit. It's been nice knowing you. Have a good night. Y'all okay? I just had a moment. 295 2145 as we hear from the Rogers fan. We got three days left. Somebody get it so we can shout. Amen. Hallelujah. Two, five, two, one, four, five. There have been many years gone by since.
Once my Lord was crucified, there have been many days that's gone since God's grace has been made known. Oh, the precious blood that fell to redeem our souls. Two one four five and um, the Rogers family. We have a Christmas CD for you to send. All right, so this is for Dan and Loretta Watts. They took December the twenty second. Dan and Loretta Watts of Greenville, South Carolina, in honor of his wife Loretta and forty four years of marriage. So they were married Christmas week. Amen. Amen. And uh, so they're grabbing. They want one of your CDs to celebrate forty four years. Amen. How about that? So y'all are getting some special stuff here. So <laughs> I'll make sure you take that home, okay? And they will put that in the mail for you. Thank you so much. All right, and we got Jeff and Lisa Davis from Greenwood, South Carolina, taken June the 12th. And they do it in honor of their 30th wedding anniversary, which was June the 11th, and in honor of their four wonderful children. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Davis, for taking June the 12th. Thank you, Scott and Amy Powell of Honeypass, South Carolina, for taking June the 1st in memory of our godly grandmothers, Jeanette Gravely and Natalie uh, Barnett. Again, in memory of our godly grandmothers, Jeanette Gravely and Natalie Barnett. Thank you, Scott and Amy Powell of Honeypath, for taking June the 1st. Well, I'm wondering if the Rogers family has a $1,200 song. Oh, wait a minute. There's a call. Amen. Amen. Uh, that phone, they put that there for our benefit, but my heart skips a jump every time it, yeah. Every time it rings. So yes, well, maybe that's a pledge anyway. 295-2145 is the number. We're having a good time. That's just the way it ought to be. It's been a great reckon? day. It's been a great day. day. Yes, that's sir. reckon. And yeah. Uh, yeah. thank you. And I see she may not like this. Sister Hawthorne, wave at me. That right there, she has worked like Amen. all week. I, I know there's thanks to be given to everybody. Yes, sir. But she has held this thing together like mm -hmm. a team of wild horses. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's holding the rope, and I appreciate her and all her organizational skills. If if a singing group or a preacher or somebody came here to do anything, if somebody walked in the door and picked up something off the floor, she gave them a gift bag. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in this the Shields family, the gift bags were awesome, weren't they? Awesome. Amazing. And Sister Hawthorne put all that together. It has just been a fantastic week. And uh, thank you so much to everybody that's been helping. All right, the Shields family has a wonderful song selection. And if we have to, we can add a few more days onto the calendar next year if we need to. But, but uh, we're not going to do that. It's, it's already got an extra day. Mm -hmm. We would be closer to being done 
but next year's leap yeah, year. Yeah, we would have two days left if it wasn't a leap year. I'm telling you yeah. what. So that Gregorian <laughs> calendar. We got a two nine five two one four five. Three days is all we got left. Help us out. We got 34 minutes until preaching time. So take one of these three days or all of them, 295-2145. And what I've been given, my family and friends, all the blessings from heaven, the Father above has lovingly showered on me. I feel overwhelmed and so undeserving to think of His goodness and wonderful mercies. My heart fills with praise and I can't help but joyfully sing. And I have God to thank for everything, the battles I've fought and the victories I've seen. He has supplied what I've needed along the way. me heaven I'm ready to go I have God to thank and forever I'll praise his name well it's not that this road has always been easy but he's been faithful and he'll never leave me I find sweet peace and assurance within his word overflowing I'm living in his favor abundant provision from the hand of my Savior I'll lift my voice and forever I'll praise his name and I have God to thank for everything the battles I've fought and the victories I've seen he has supplied what I've needed along me heaven I'm ready to go I have God to thank and forever I'll praise his name oh but most of all he saved my soul he promised me heaven I'm ready to go I have God to thank and forever I'll praise his name Amen. 864-295-2145 is the phone number to call. You see. 
nothing to offer me. I cling to him. For I know whatever I need, that's just what he is. For he is my rock and my deliverer. He is my strength, my God and my King. He's my shelter in the time. Yes, I look to him for everything. He can be a mother, a father, or a friend. And on him I can always depend. For I know whatever I need, that's just what he is. He can be a mother, a father, or a friend. Amen. It's good to hear from the Shields family singing for us this evening in the chapel live, Tabernacle Baptist Church. And uh, just a word to those who watching who are watching live stream, uh, that uh, feed will be going down for about 30 minutes uh, or 20 minutes or so. I think about That's 10 right. till they'll come back on uh, at uh, 10 minutes till 7 o'clock. Uh, that gives it time to, uh, to buffer up, get ready for the service. Again, the service 7 o'clock tonight here in the chapel. WTBI Sheriff.